Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures within the world of Mass Effect 3, potentially even finishing it. Last time we went and we helped Miranda on Horizon and learned that basically Cerberus is unsalvageable. No shocker there. Then we went and finished the Leviathan DLC. Interesting and a bit weird. And then we went and beat up my very own clone. And now we're finishing up that part of the Citadel DLC because it was going a bit too long and I want to actually uh, be a reasonable human being. So now we're going to go talk to Zaid, specialist trainer, go talk to Garrus, purchase party supplies, finish up this whole shindig. And then we will go and probably finish the game because I feel like we are really about to finish, finish the game. Hey, a Batarian. That's funny. Yes. <laughs> Purchase party supplies, but I'm here. Do I get to fight robots? Ah! A real gamer! What's the game rules? Relay defense. How to play. Target enemies as they appear. Keep launching allied ships on a road to get them safe to mass effect relay to maintain a score multiplier. Only three missiles can be active at one time. Destroy enemies before they damage the planet. If your planet takes too much damage, hmm... Oh, WASD, left click and space bar to launch missile, right click to send out a ship. Interesting. Stay alert. Stay alert. Oh. Enemies approaching. All right. Interesting, bit funky. Stay alert. All right, this is interesting and a bit weird. No, my ship, I think it blew up. Interesting and funky. You, you. I guess this is. You think the the future would have like more advanced video games? The way he says "hit" sounds like "damn it." So every single time he, they say things, it makes me feel like I'm a failure. No, my score multiplier. You're good. Dang it. Enemies approaching. My planet is dying. I am the most alert. I've had I've never, I've never had coffee, but I did have a soda. Hat. I'm in the top three. Aria Talok. <laughs> Aria has the main high score for this. Shattered Ezio. Pay punch your opponent to lower their health. Hilarious. So they actually made many games.
That is utterly amazing. But let's go talk to so he's playing the club. <laughs> I didn't You're mine, you bastard. This God is hilarious. So he just playing the claw machine. Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. The rare fucking has entered the game. There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? No. <laughs> he asked. Oh, so <laughs> he actually will. That's Come hilarious. On. Damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Hmm. Want to do something else? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani <laughs> not getting bested by some <laughs> fucking kids game? I, I forgot you that really I love this DLC. God damn right I do. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Credits. Say please. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his men. Fucking well. please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Zaid is an amusing character. I love that they just kind of brought him here for this. Easy. Easy. He's going to just steal it. Rigged somehow. Is he just going to break Rick? it? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his <laughs> asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. <laughs> Credits. Hilarious. Going for the same one, too. All right. Yay! Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> Kid. Triple lol. I guess it is okay, true. Zaid, we're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? <laughs> Let's play. But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. <laughs> Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. This is hilarious. I love that. They even had a nice little thing for Zaid. I like that. Mainly because, mainly because Zaid didn't really get all that much in this game, so they just gave him a little thing. They gave him a little thing, and I love it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kasumi hasn't really appeared at all, which is sad. Well, she did have the one thing, but oh well. I love that Zaid was just here, getting addicted to claw machine. Why do I climb stairs like that? Is she conquering in super chess? He's twitching. He's angry. Then she did it with a tiny ship. That doesn't seem safe that it sparks when you start losing. It's like real life Yu Gi Oh! Excellent use of the day, Lucian Gang. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. Lol. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. You are the best. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Beat this Asari bitch. Caesar. <laughs> Why did it? Trainer. This, that's Would you hilarious. Just give me your frigates now. <laughs> they did. Take them sooner. They went to basically did a soap opera. Gara to Caesar, she's knocked me out of four tournaments. You've grown as a person. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. You'll get this. Better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Roger that. I love that they're just the slice of life, the sl slice of life, slice of life moments. Freaking Zaid playing claw, Javik getting roped into a blasto movie. Oh, damn it. Ah. 
so much for your cricket. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Take the home world. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. Destroy I her. Quite comfortably teaching Asari maidens tactics and strategy through this game. Trainer is helping the war. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. <laughs> yes. Took that personally with your Special bulging eyes. Helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Lol. Well, what? The two up? She just had a. <laughs> she just had a freaking heart attack. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Feedback causes heart, heart attacks. <laughs> oh. Hey, I could go to the arsenal. Well, there is a shop there. Hmm. I'm going to head down there because there's a shop. And, uh, well, then again, is it top or bottom? Yeah, I think it's bottom. They have a shop in there. I don't think I'll do, because I'm not really a mini game person all that much. Like I don't seek out mini games. It's not even a claw. Nope, it is up there. I am the fool. I am the biggest fool in the universe. But now we have to go. But that's that's still freaking hilarious. I f also find it hilarious that one of the final things in the game, like one of the few diddly d paragon intimidate moments, is reserved here. Helping her trainer win a tournament. Oh, there was a way in. I am the biggest rube. Tickets, tickets. I just want the shop. Armax VI. No, I want the. I want stop. I want the shop. Brawl, the wrong kind of shop. I think I thought I would have interesting things. Fucking blasto. And again. What's in the gold token shop? Zero prizes remaining. Oh. Just lets you fight things. I'm sure it's definitely interesting. But once again, not really a mini game person, and I don't think you'd get anything for that. It's just like, hey, fun thing to do. In fact, that's probably based off of the DLC that got nuked from Mass Effect 1. Because for those that don't know, Mass Effect 1 had another DLC that was basically, I think, only available on Xbox 360 and maybe the original PC run. But when they start uh, started working on the PlayStation 3 port, the, all the data for the DLC was uh, basically nuked. It got uh, corrupted. So even for the Legendary Edition, it was no longer available. Time to wait for Garrus. 
Let's get knockout drunk, Garrus. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you out of your armor. Hey, another female Turian. It's been a long time. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward eh. cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope <laughs> I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. <laughs> You're gonna set him Excuse up on me. a date, really? I saw you checking out my friend here. I Wingman time! Be... Hello? Right. <laughs> Garrus, my foolish friend, my poor foolish friend. Uh, he, he is just. Uh, she's pretty. He was like, "You're the bad boy, Garrus." Like Hilarious. A nice person, maybe a little <laughs> quiet, introspective, but Lol. decent overall. Oh, thank you. I think. <laughs> Keep it simple, Garrus. You poor foolish man. Try small talk. <laughs> Come here often. I imagine anyone. I'm crumbling in secondhand embarrassment. My f oh, it is only my stoic face as a shepherd man keeping him done. Yeah. Dang it. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. I was cringing so hard, did I miss a thing? Nope, there's the thing. Sorry. Let's start <laughs> over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. There we go. I was cringing so hard, I, for a moment I thought I was worried I missed a, a prompt. It was the lovely kind of cringe. The ones just like, oh god, this is hurting because it's so real. Only 90 credits for party supplies. Sure. I'm just happy that I managed to give my friend, my boy Garrus, a date. Now I'm just gonna have to make sure that I get him out of this alive so that he can have a sec- Oh, Patriarch! You never heard of mighty Patriarch? Oh, that's it. Damn it. Please do not touch the waterfalls. But hey. Come on in. Nice to know that Patriarch is doing well. He survived Omega. Well, maybe. It's it is a second hand thing. But yeah. I love those little interactions I had with everyone. Well, up we go. Let's have the party. I think I interacted with everyone. You have received a new message. Oh boy. Will it be how everything went with everybody's interactions? Garrus will say, he's like, thank you, Commander. All work and no play. Shepard, now that we've got a little downtime, come to Sid, uh, on the Citadel. I wanted to share something with you. Uh, taking the shuttle down to the Silver Sun Strip. Oh, even more hangouts, Jacob. Shepard, so the Normandies and Dry Dock seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside of the arcade on the main level, if you're game. Edie, Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Apply and we can meet at the new apartment. Memorial Service. Holyat, Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a calm call from the Council. They would like to hold what humans call memorial service. Where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand at human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part of the com uh, as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous. I might recall an an appropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. And Liara. Shepard. I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything in particular. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment. 
All right. So, more invites. I guess I'll save Kolyats for the end. Because that'll be a nice, hopefully, way to end it. And then we'll head down and hang out with everybody else. Like Shepard, Jacob. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Present shopping. I, I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? This place. Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chip on the condition <laughs> that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. Hilarious. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? She is an AI. I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. She has a point. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Something you both like. Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. <laughs> that would be it. Here, the 2187... At the same time, is this is his credit shit. <laughs> ...making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! No. I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent it. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Don't bankrupt Joker on my account. What? Edy, why? Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Hmm. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Almost as rare as you. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuable? I just want to be nice! It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. Lol. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. It's not a joke. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <laughs> not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Why is being nice ever so near potentially flirting? Also hilarious that I had to save poor Joker from being bankrupted by his girlfriend buying him a gift. That's an odd situation. Also kind of weird because he gave him, uh, gave AED his credit shit to buy gifts for people. And she was going to buy him a gift with his own credit shit. Ah, she's playing piano. I don't think it's possible to do that with one hand. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Lift just pops Actually, out of the piano. This is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Why this Is song? there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. Nice song. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. Simple can be nice.
The person who taught me that song was a friend. Yeah, you just told me, Dr. Alina. I spent so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I am a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Take a break. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Night, these nice little moments. Oh, I forgot they kind of hang out for a little bit. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Well, time to get depressing. Because I'm... Hmm. Invited, invited. Javis, Jacob, Jack, Grunt, Garrus. I want... <laughs> Invite all! Wait, that better what not start it. What party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Not ready yet. I still need to get ready and rethink the guest list. Of course, Commander. Please let me know when you're ready to begin preparations for your guests. Hmm, my myself would prefer a quiet, but I know, uh, like a quiet, more thoughtful party. Alright, but let's invite Koliad over. Have a nice little memorial. What sort of party are you hoping Oi. to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Not ready yet. I still need to get Of course, ready. Commander. Jerk. Did that break? I think that broke things. All right, we gotta reload. All right, don't send invitations this time and break the game we want to have a nice memorial for my boy we are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios Thane touched each of our lives in different ways the counselor knew him as a hero the Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Thane redeemed himself. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. 
Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. That was sweet. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. It doesn't feel good. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Do it. If you need someone to I'll hold help. the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Thank you, Until Kolyat. Until we meet again, Commander. And thank you for pointing me to the upstairs. It's always in threes. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Wish I could have... Wish I could have, my man. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. <laughs> I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. 
It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Damn, Alliance took me took away even time from my friends. Bastards. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. By the zoom it up. Oh. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. I wish I could have too. The bad news is, I had. I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Goodbye, Fang. This is a great DLC. But they threw so much in here. Oh yeah, I guess I could go hang out with the others. Just kind of getting hyped up. While doing the stereotypical, let's have a rowdy party. Does seem kind of nice. All the same, I'd prefer a more quiet party, even if, like, Rex and Grunt wouldn't enjoy it too much. I am Commander Shepard. I prefer it. Well, I guess let's go hang out with Jacob. Wow, just <laughs> immediately just insulting him. Of course you wouldn't, you join this turd. Thanks so much for doing this, man. I know you're off duty. No problem. You're out there visiting the office. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. It's Prem. What are you talking about? I've seen you do this move before. It's brilliant. Your opponent's always talking. Great prizes! You could win! I just need to. Did you catch the updated Intel reports on stripping enemy defenses? I thought it was here. Which gun Let me read again. Castle Arcade. Castle Arcade. Oh, is he outside? He's probably outside. Have a good evening, Alex. All right, let's wait for Jacob. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? I Let's know. Lara Dar. You? DLC. Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credit. <laughs> With kids. Ah, uh, some of the kids that you saved from the. Who are they? The Their DVD. Are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend oh. to get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? It's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. Please don't make me actually play. It felt like models like appeared for a frame and then disappeared. This is your game of skill. Oh, the punch game. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. I'll crush really? you. Really? Crash talk? A shattered Ezo? <laughs> Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. I'm Commander Shepard. Well, step up, Shepard. And kicking your Although ass is my favorite tough, activity on the Citadel. To carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Ha! <laughs> You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Hardy, ha, ha. Ready? 
Let's do this. I will annihilate you, Jake boy. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Is that all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Is that all you got? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. Hey, guys. Careful, Shepard. Don't break a hit now. I win. This is where my comeback starts. At the nice. victory screen. Okay. Yeah! I couldn't hold back. And that's how it's done, kids. You couldn't just let me win just once? <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. If you want to beat me, Jacob, you must earn it. If those kids will look up to you, it will be because you actually stand atop my corpse. Not because I let you stand atop me while I pretended to go, oh, I have been bested, no. <laughs> Just talking to a Vorcha amuses me. Let's wait for Cortez. Of course, he's just flying himself in. That guy's hair is flickering through the dust. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Hell. Activating external cameras. Oh, it's cameras. No glass. I get it, yeah. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah. <laughs> Here, feel this. Whoa. Feel what it's like to fly in reality. That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Go for it. Show me. Torture your commander. I think I, uh, I fell about. I think this is where the mercs were attacking me. <laughs> you see? Doesn't take much to pull a few Gs. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. You need to get me to the Getting ground. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Me neither. <laughs> I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. If Joker was there, I'd joke, maybe Joker, but Joker wasn't there. I'd be nice. I'm nice to Cortez. All right. That should be everyone. Kind of funny that there's a go fight Jacob in robo boxing. <laughs> Let's see if there's anybody else. You have received a new message. Yep. Wonder who it will be. Let's see, who have I not invited up? Uh, or have hung out with Grunt, Miranda, uh, Kasumi, Caden. Official input required. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report. Bioball Goodwill Games from Steve Cortez. Shepard, the Seattle Sorcerers are taking the Usari Maestros in bio, a bio, biotic ball game. Should be epic. You recently acquired an apartment of uh, Sweet Vid Screen. Coincidence? Jim's and I don't think so. You provide the couch and we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. Let's go and be out and be normal people. You know what you need, Shepard? You need a night where you just hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, we can go down to the strip or whatever you want. Let me know. How are you? From Samara. Shepard, I overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. I currently am on the Citadel, so if there's anything that, uh, any way that I can be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to call and rain check. Comm Specialist, 
Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with uh, Tazuza. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know. I just have everybody come over. Have a nice hangout with everybody, and then I'll invite everyone over Sorry, for a party. Wait. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. What's a cerveza? That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. <laughs> so when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. They'll play hard. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers I am not a sports person, up. so this is all Festival. foreign to me. The Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty <laughs> as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? Help me out. <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. And they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the maestros have been playing since before first contact. <laughs> They'll win this. I know the sorcerers have never beaten the maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it going to be? Human sorcerers, because they're wizards. They probably have a, a member who's, like, in the back line who isn't really all that, like, talked about called the great and mighty Kevin. I'm going to vote for him. You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Uh, Come on, man. The game's I did die once. Merda, he was out. You're blind, ref. <laughs> yes, they did it. It was now a close game. Up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? Lol. We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. <laughs> and everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. I love this kind of light world building. Just hang out with characters stuff. It's a little bit wonky that it's just like they come in waves. They just come in waves. And this also means that you'd get to hang out with Ashley if she was alive. Profound sadness. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? Nothing. We're I've only lived here for a little. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. <laughs> oh, no. Really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> You're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. Lol. <laughs> what do we have? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Maple syrup? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. The foods of all people, Wish I'd me say. Luck. So he's gonna. <laughs> he's going to uh, drive drunk. <laughs> Good luck. You need luck to cook us dinner. We're screwed. <laughs> screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. That's why the camera isn't focusing out. on it. It's a war crime. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived <laughs> the suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> <laughs> only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> Can it at least be quick and painless? <laughs> Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. <laughs> That's a good point. I just took down my clone. Do we have hot sauce? I love that. That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. 
I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, and I'd win, right? <laughs> what if I fought dirty? Then you'd win. <laughs> I love just hanging out with the crew. Absolutely magical. What even is botulism? I don't know. I'm uncultured. I'm an uncultured I swine. As as I could. What's wrong? You invited to come. I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted you to see you. Literally you literally invited to come. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Let's talk Here about you. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Over the centuries, Perhaps. I'd bet so. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. Ah. Wonder what kind of new stuff has been made about me. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? It's nice. What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. If people say what I'm matter? making a difference, I am I'm making a difference. We are, Shepherd. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. All right, and I think there was one more invite, and then we have to go save Grunt. Because all Krogan members of the crew of the Normandy half. You sure you want to leave that here? To be. I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. Like <laughs> investigated by CSEC with Commander Shepard there. Amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. You see the hot tub, and you're like, oh my god. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Lol. Cheers. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if that's it. Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. Ah. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. You have headaches. Sucrocapsinol. That's a sugar pill trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky <laughs> bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. It is me, you go. your butler. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one. <laughs> Lol. Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Shepard has the right idea. Shake his hands. Not his head. <laughs> yes, shake his own hands. Why shake your head in hee hee ha ha? 
slice of life shenanigans when you can just shake your own hands and confuse people. All right, now we'll head down again. And I think the only one on the strip now is Grunt Harassing Seasec. Then we'll come up and probably have a million things. But yeah, so far of this DLC, the greatest. Just a little bit of slice of life. And while I'm playing this, apparently there's a conspiracy theory going around that the new Halo show was originally supposed to be a Mass Effect script. But when they couldn't get the rights to Mass Effect, they were just like, quick, grab the only other, like, sci-fi show idea that we can. And then they kind of just transplanted it over. Uh, okay, so it should be down here. Oh. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. What's Grunt doing? Where's he doing it? Of course he's messing the noodle house up. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. But what'd you do? Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. I'll help you, Grunt. But what did you do, what Grunt? <laughs> I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Have you recovered? But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. <laughs> Most people aren't me. He has a point. Why is Csec here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Anybody hurt? Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Oh yeah, because days, <laughs> the reason why the Tachanka right. Krogan Hospital was Tell super constructed was because it had to house <laughs> Krogan. My birthday tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. Lol. Yeah, it didn't work out. Did they actually have it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm tank bread, remember? Uh. Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? <laughs> yeah. When they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about the car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. Hilarious. The c -Sec guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. <laughs> We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Yeah, I just down noticed that plan. now. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. <laughs> so how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. You should make amends. Run. You apologized to the nice man for setting his car on fire. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Even can you buy some noodles? And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. <laughs> That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. <laughs> I love that they actually animated it. So... How are those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, how are those noodles, Grunt? <laughs> A little. <laughs> uh, I love that. I only just noticed the on fire cruiser as he mentions it. Oh, utterly fantastic. I love this crew.
I love that they just actually animate him falling from the hospital, climbing on the memorial. Uh, I think they had fun with this DLC. They had fun with this DLC. Pencil me in. Shepard, care for a night out? Let's get dressed up and meet at the casino. I'll be the one in the red. Well, looks like I have to go out again. But it seems like it'll be the last one. Now I'm... I wonder if they regret... I was gonna say, maybe if I came and did this earlier, like, Morden could have been available. But it's just, like, a lot of stuff doing it later allows you to get, like, more characters in, so I don't know. Like, for the actual killing the clone part. I wonder if there are Morden hangouts. Probably not. He was too busy curing the Genovage. Let's see. Yep, at the Silver Coast. But yeah, like, Morden was too busy curing the Genophage. Thane. Thane might have come by, but that was, like, kind of what Kolyat is for, I guess. While it is kind of nice to do that Quasar came back, I miss the feel of old Quasar. I don't think people appreciate me getting dressed on the casino floor. Why does that uh, <laughs> look like it's kind of grafted to your skin? You clean up well, Shepard. Would have been amusing if I wore this for the majority of Mass Effect 2. Finally some downtime. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. This is unexpected. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn. I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very I'm not good a good at being gambler normal, either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Hmm. Plenty. Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. I wonder what right. the normal shepherd face is like Bring animated like during wine. this. <laughs> oh, more <God>. wine. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. Yes, you are. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Look at Grunt. He stole a cruiser. Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. <laughs> yeah, just nice little hangout. And now we'll be able to start the party. We'll go send out invites to everybody and have a nice, quiet party. Grunt already had his raucous craziness. I wonder how Garrus's date went after I stole a beer for him. But yeah, this definitely feels like they went and had fun with it. They're like, let's send Mass Effect 3 out with a bang with this DLC. And I just remembered, I technically have, like, I think all the Dragon Age games? All the main ones, at least. And I should play them sometime. Although, I don't think it has a Paragon system, so what if I make the wrong choices? Kill people. Like, people that I don't mean to kill. And nothing! Let's see. I go to invite all... 
What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's go quiet. Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hilarious. Because I feel like we have enough excitement going out and being murdered. I literally died. I want to relax with my time. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Of Make course. yourselves at home. Thank you. I wonder if there was anybody I shouldn't have invited. Happy to be here, Shepard. <laughs> Citadel party. Well, I can't say he didn't have it coming. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. <laughs> or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. <laughs> Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Yeah. Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Hey, Kasumi. Hey. What? Who? Master Thief. Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? <laughs> we can always get another Normandy. <laughs> Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. <laughs> it's Boss Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Ah! Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. <laughs> also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Yes. And I'm glad that the chaos of a party nice ink. But you got a long wasn't way to like, to catch wouldn't up. ruin things. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does Jack, it go? you can beat him up ever so slightly. Oh, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? I have to moderate all of you. How's everyone doing? <laughs> great so far. This is really nice. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of the mission, it's a good quiet, right? But if it got a little crazier, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Relax. The night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. Mm, a nice relaxation. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation is more fun than this. Very funny. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? <laughs> you know why Cerberus is going to lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? 
I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. <laughs> Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. <laughs> I know what I said. Basically, all the Cerberus you know, crew together. When Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. Very you know, when you two ran things. <laughs> Excuse me? Lol. The only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very Did have a guy successful. trying to kill me, though. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, and they got loose and killed all our guys. <laughs> they did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. Well, some and of you were. <laughs> Lots of crunches. Lol. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. <laughs> For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. <laughs> it's actually quite the opposite. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. We weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. <laughs> anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Protein <laughs> This is kind of the renegade crew. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. Like the cruiser. That sounds more like it. <laughs> You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. I like that kind of philosophical <laughs> being crazy. It's kind of nice when you have redundant organs. So who is strongest? You or the tank raid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? <laughs> the Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Brax. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. Definitely it is. It is a good question. Really? No, it isn't. Baby Pie Jack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen on the one hand, Rex awful. has first-hand experience. The on the other, Grunt has memory experience. Ha! <laughs> I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. I'd believe yeah. it. We should leave these two lovebirds alone. Ah! Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. That's hilarious. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. <laughs> that will be fine. We already got attacked in this DLC. Will happen twice. I think that's everybody. Kasumi just. Flashing in and out. Cause I'm kind of surprised you didn't appear for that conversation. Eh, Javik probably would have gone like intruder and attacked. Ah, oh, this is fun. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? Hmm. Keep her relaxed. This is nice. Let's keep things laid back. Yes, Commander. He has a bow tie. That's nice. Again, I don't want to break my furniture of Rex here. Ah, oh, so there's phases. Drink. I'm drinking. But it's not a drinking game. Afraid to lose? Nothing to do. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. <Grunt. laughs> Shepard. <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. <laughs> Rex? Grunt? What's happening? Shepard! Shepard! 
I think they're messing with Shepherd. me. <laughs> Shepard. Grunt. Shepard. Rex. Rex. Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. <laughs> Rex. Grunt. <laughs> Shepard. This Shepherd. amuses me. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard. Grunt. Shepard. Rex. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> They're just Shepherd. messing with me. <laughs> Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human. I would like to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy feely? Memory hey, things. Collector looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. Lol. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> Oh, I'm the bartender now. Commander. He's drunk. Jared? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided I just realized drinks. we don't know. Sure. Like, uh, uh you might want to what kind of bread. biological foods the that a Provian can eat. Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? <laughs> no. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwanted. There are, like, party platters back there. In my <laughs> We had food. <laughs> we had Daniel. food in my cycle. Varites. You feeling okay? I am Prothean. I never feel okay. So this drink is changing that. <laughs> mm. You know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get <laughs> that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Yeah, go ahead. Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <laughs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. That is adorable. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry. Dury. Barry and Corey. Is there any we could spare? <laughs> Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been if you can wrestle Grunt or Rex to the ground, they have redundant organs. Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Don't go too Beverages. crazy. More would be preferable. No. Mm, food, I'd say. I'll check for more snacks when I get a chance. Thanks. When you get around to it. No rush. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? <laughs> we'll see. So, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. It's a social or thing. Is there a place I can go light something on fire? There's a... Do we have fireplace a fireplace? right there. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, it's not the same. Maybe you could throw Grunt into the fireplace. But I love that. They're just... Had the two. They were just like, Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Did she get drunk? Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of the... Yep, I think she's drunk. <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... Tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly. That's hilarious. What are you guys talking about? Sally was acting Ship up noises. between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting. I may have recorded it. <laughs> and that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan fan. <laughs> you better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. <laughs> Does that make it better or worse? More unique. The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. 
It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 I would agree SR2 is better, better because <laughs> Brex didn't have to uh, stay in the storage Alliance. room. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now That is true. It. Normandy 1 is where it began. We wouldn't have the SR2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. It was a great ship. It made the quietest little sounds. A sort of shoom. <laughs> shoom. So, drinking again, eh? I guess they wanted to have. Oh no. She would get drunk even. After, even if we weren't together, so it was just like, hey, throw more drunk tally at the player. Utterly hilarious. Shepard. Shepard. Uh, this place is a goddamn joke. Sight lines aren't bad. One point in its favor, and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? Th that's true. I, I think. See now, sure. <laughs> Art. I like it. <laughs> That's hilarious. One moment. What the hell is this? I think it's art. Oh, what are okay. You guys doing I like here? it. <laughs> Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment. That's why. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea. Fireplace. <sighs> there are too many windows, and they're they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. <laughs> I'd extend a wall out, prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mm, 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 good idea. Mm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. <laughs> Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine. <laughs> Suppose tomorrow it's Liara's clone that comes after you. Or Joker's clone. Or Joker. <laughs> yeah, him. Twitchy little guy. Might already be a clone. An evil one at that. <laughs> Alright. Have fun. <laughs> Continue discussing people's evil clones. <laughs> Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here. And I think I'm home. <laughs> I love that we have just little jokes. So, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, Ugh! <laughs> That was when I thought she was a VI. Hilarious. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right, Moreau. Oh, somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece. No, it kind of looks like a pawn. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. Other fish in the sea, trainer. <laughs> Not with that voice. It's like feeling smoky satin slide across your skin in soft candlelight. Sounds like you have <laughs> competition there, Jeff. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably you know, not. my head against the side of a shuttle. <laughs> no, twice. I heard it from Liara. Technically, that was the bot. That was like forever ago. Plus, it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. <laughs> You're right. I'm not even sure what made me think of it. Apology <laughs> accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. The hell is up? <laughs> Still creepy, Kasumi. Well, I'm glad you two are drunk enough to finally deal with this. Hilarious. Oh. We weren't planning to deal with it. <laughs> We're just happy, giving each other shit. We can call Edie over, and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. <laughs> no would be weird. Just, just no. Hilarious. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. She sees every extranet site you browse. <laughs> Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. Lol. Oh. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. I barely knew you were here. 
How's the med meditation? The party tomorrow? Oh yes, Shepard. I am. Although not in the same way as the other. Kind of absorbing the vibes. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom. And then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Well, glad you like Meditating it. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Which is fair. But I'm flattered. Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. Know that as long as I am able, I will come to you whenever you call. Always. And I thank, thank you for your loyalty. Now get back out there and have some fun. I will. I promise. I like all the kind of background conversations. <laughs> Still hilarious. Let's save again. That the forms. party appears to be a success, Commander. Do you require anything further? Make snacks. Sure. Edie mentioned she may want to cook something. Why don't you join her? Of course. The VIAI sure cooking corner. An organic palate between the two of us. <laughs> is there a third phase or is it over? Nope, it's the third phase. Hell yeah. Hilarious that they're five by five grid across the glass should do the trick. They're making oh, we'll do more than that. <laughs> I can't believe the Garrus is hanging out with Saeed. It's adorable. Alright, Garrus, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm, oh uh, nothing. <laughs> just uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Just a little going a little bit renegade with Zaid there. Tell him he won't understand. Try me. Oh it's just well. One man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Ah. Oh, now you're in for it. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! Sounds nice. Just ready to be. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so, just try not to scratch the finish. <laughs> I can't believe that Shepard is just kind of like, yeah, I'll go along with it, just... Who's in there? Tally, are you okay? Yep. Yeah. You want to see? Do you have a tattoo? I, I don't believe you. Have you. A tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. <laughs> Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni tattoo. <laughs> Under tattoo. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You wanna know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying. Sounds impressive. Jack said he thinks it was hot. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Ah. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Just don't, just don't <laughs> die. <laughs> Well, glad you're enjoying things. <laughs> sure, trainer. Is it done yet? The recipe calls for more curry. No, that's 
That's too much. <laughs> the recipe is very specific. I have measured the proper volume to the nearest milligram. Is it done now? <laughs> yeah, you have to go with your feelings. When you cook, you can't just stick to the recipe. If we do not follow the recipe, we risk creating something that tastes offensive. Lol. Edie, the recipe was made by organics. It's never going to be exact. And that's a lot of curry. Trainer, back me up on this, huh? Oh, so I'm supposed to be the expert on curry. Just went right there, did you? <laughs> um, I just meant that you're a human. With taste buds. I don't even like curry. I have an allergy. <laughs> Are you going to be done soon, or do I need to go eat a keeper? <laughs> that would be hilarious. You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we're not enemies. Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. <laughs> See, no. that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're still doing it. <laughs> He's messing with them. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Lol. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. <laughs> You're going to have your hands full with me anyway. Adios. <laughs> How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. That's hilarious because we literally just appears it's into nice the game. It's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle. Like Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Prothians day and night. Good to know bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. <laughs> Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. This is incredible. They're just like, let's go. Make things fun. You guys are great. I wonder what Zaid's doing. <laughs> I think he's out buying the micro explosives. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. <laughs> All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your B. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy in a Mako. Ah. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. <laughs> Didn't you get the first one blown up? Harsh. Mean. He went there, Joker. Beat him up. Just want to make sure they didn't have anything to like the front that stunned silence. <laughs> he did drop a Mako so with pinpoint accuracy. Kind of I liked that one. <laughs> there were some tough fights back then. Those were battles to remember. A maniac running loose. Yeah, putting people on spikes. What was that rogue yeah, Spectre Saren like? Oh, crazy. Totally crazy. Yeah. around like a marauder, glowing eyes and everything. And yet the council still didn't believe Shepard. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? He did. Yeah, right. It's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take them down. So you unshackled an AI. <laughs> Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. <laughs> you wouldn't complain. At least now you might get laid. Lol. We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. <laughs> and when the collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me saving the Normandy by myself. Single hand. <laughs> yes, you did. Technically, Edie ran you through how to unshackle her. And nice, Rex, had your back. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. I'd heard the stories about the Normandy's crew before, but when you put it all together, defeating rogue specters, Facing the collectors, and now the war? It's pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, all things considered, you'd think the Normandy crew would have a much higher turnover rate. Forget it. 
I think the highest turnover was like I've the minor crew. A red <laughs> one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit one. Purplish, like after too many shots of wrinkle. Yeah, I saw one you want. Cross it with the blue one, and you're good. <laughs> Won't be saying the same for the fool who stumbles into this. What's going on? What are you up to now, Zaid? <laughs> Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for I love that we're like assuming that, that right another goes? clone is gonna come <laughs> destroy me. So he walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to himself, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh my fucking getting! Thirty seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? <laughs> you ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. Thank you for but looking out for I me. I want to use the hot tub. <laughs> Covered that. It's key to your DNA. So the clone. Yeah, but a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damn clone. <laughs> so Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, Zaid might be crazy, but he is a lovable bastard. I love that they're actually looking out for me. So the next time that a clone comes in. Everybody okay? The entertainment efficiency of the party was falling due to inadequate food supplies. Ouch. <laughs> Do not be concerned. I am compensating. I just wanted her to heat something up. Now she's cooking. <laughs> With a vengeance. <laughs> With a vengeance. I appreciate the help, but parties aren't about efficiency. A party is a collective event among like-minded individuals. It requires teamwork and an understanding of group dynamics. You did I didn't not even know I had pots of pants. To assault the collector base without preparation. Why should this be any different? Because it's relaxing because party. It's a party. <laughs> Nobody's gonna die if we do it right. Well, I'm really hungry, Shepard. But if you were to ask a team member to select the music and you chose Jeff, the results would be disastrous. <laughs> and that'd be I hilarious. Would never choose Jeff for the music. <laughs> no, I should do music. I can handle mingling. You would be a popular choice for mingling, but it would be one which would unexpectedly lead to failure. Whoa. Excuse me? You can sometimes be judgmental. Ruins the mood. I'll hold the line at the snack table. <laughs> Agreed. You see, Shepard? A party is a social construct that can be designed for maximum efficiency. Well, good luck with that. Bring him back alive. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a snack. Now she's cooking. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody's punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. I'm gonna save just in case talking to Glyph ends Would things. you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state of the art cameras. Sure, I just wanna Yeah, she's fine. Well we just have to wait for another one of them clones to stumble in. of course when this glass goes, the plants probably won't survive. <laughs> you can always get oxygen from a tank. Lol. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's have a group photo. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. Rick's so excited. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy. Absolutely fantastic. Now that in that DLC, the the post stuff like easily would have taken two and a half hours because I'm an hour and forty two minutes through this. So it still took me an hour and 40 minutes to really finish, finish things. Hey. Wow, look who's here. 
How do you feel? It could be worse. I could be waking up alone. Not on my watch. But... Come on. Let's see if anyone else is up. Everyone stayed. So is there post-party conversations too? Investigate. War asset. Team spirit. And Alliance Forget Normandy. I've got updated. Hey, Javik. I wonder if you would let me stay here, Commander. It reminds me of my space board. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Morning, Shepard. So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had and you hear a timer start counting down, then remember the code 6492, punch it into the keypad, preferably before the timer goes off. If you don't, well... I'll be sure. I eat and run like hell. <laughs> Blitz I eat and run like hell. Good morning. Sleep well? Good. It was very nice. How's your meditation? Shepard, good morning. <laughs> you came in here now? I am going to die. Lol. <laughs> I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. I think I made the right choice by making sure it was a nice and quiet party. A rambunctious one probably would have killed our Corian, who is coincidentally also my girlfriend. <laughs> Hilarious. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Hey, you look like shit. And you are telekinetically doing pull-ups. Impressive. <laughs> Who changed your color? When's the food gonna be ready? Why are you green? I don't remember much after I ate the lamp. <laughs> he ate the lamp? Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. Why is he green? <laughs> is it lighting? Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. I don't, can't Jab, you eat eggs? Man, you gotta try my eggs. <laughs> Anyone else? He's just Miranda. making eggs for everybody. Now that was a great time. Just making eggs for everyone. Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Glad you're not dead. Morning, Shepard. Looks like no humans were harmed in the making of this party. <laughs> Love you, man. Oh, that's such an amazing thing. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Ah. Mm, morning, Shepard. I hope you slept well. How about you? Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. <laughs> Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? The ultimate payback for saving Zaid. Three strips of bacon. <laughs> Morning, chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I'm just happy that so many of my crew came on through. Data pad. Hope you're well. New mission what? to Chunka could end things. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. Thank you, Morden. Nice to see that you weren't forgotten. Did we, uh, break anything last night? <laughs> I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. Lol. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> I love this crew. Do I have a tattoo? 
tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Like a holographic omni tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but uh yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. <laughs> Lol. This is the best crew. This is the best DLC. Utterly fantastic. Still don't know why you're green. I don't even I don't even think I had a lamp. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. I don't believe you. That was a joke. I believe that. I have nothing else to report. I recommend but yeah, this DLC, they went all out on this DLC. They went, made a crazy story about a cam, a Commander Shepard clone. Like, had so much interaction with the characters. Just utterly wonderful. Utterly and fantastically make sure nobody talked to nope just return to normandy duty calls huh yep there's still a war on us unless the reapers are on shore leave too <laughs> i'm guessing they're not round everyone up and have them report to the normandy you got it utterly fantastic Uh, this is that building up to be a great shot. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No, no matter what happens, you'll find a way to do what's right for all of us. Serving on a human ship. I never would have guessed. And. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, we've had a good ride. <laughs> and to think, like, so much of this would also change depending on who you've romanced. Or not romanced, too. Utterly fantastic. Like... If Mass Effect was an anime, that would have been, like, the special OVA. Utterly, simply fantastic. But I guess, all that's done. Sure leave over. Wonders and more. Let me check my journal just to be extra safe, but I think... Yep, it's just a thing I can't do, thing I can't, uh, assume I can't do, and a uh, thing I can't do. Because my approximation needed to pick up another thing on Eden Prime, needed to pick up a thing at the R.Yakshi. No, not R.Yakshi, but, yeah, you know, that, the Asari Monastery. Could only do that during the Omega DLC, but now, only one thing left. Actually, you know what? I'm going to head to the War Room. Wait, can I give you your, your mug back? No, your mug, well, your mug's still there, so I guess that counts for something. Because <laughs> I want to look. The Normandy. To bolster the Normandy's firepower, Commander Shepard installed a Thanix magnetic cannon on the ship's undercarriage, based on Reaper technology. Before taking on the Collectors, Commander Shepard reinforced the Normandy's superstructure of Solaris armor. 
Although Normandy is tough enough to withstand ship to ship firepower, wear and tear takes its toll. The vacuum of space, solar radiation, and uh, the retained heat of stealth mode, and the stress of burning onboard fusion plant all put stress on the ship's many complex systems. Alliance technicians have repaired, retrofitted, and tested the Normandy while it was in dry dock, and they assure the crew it will now perform better than ever. The crew of the Normandy, both past and present, have bonded over their shore leave experiences and vented stress that could otherwise damage their mental focus. They will fight for Shepard, or for one another, with renewed zeal. Utterly, completely, fantastic. I'm gonna go down to engineering, just to see if I can talk to Tally one last time. And then I think we're going to enter the true end game of all this. Well, I guess we could maybe see if there's an it. Now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections. The exclusive details next in the battle space. So anything about that, uh, Commander Shepard clone? Commander. That would have been a hilarious interview. But that was nice. Have everyone so, together. no regrets over fighting the Reapers on a human ship? Hey, the Normandy's design was part Turian, remember? Ah. You know what I mean. No, somebody has to keep you from giving all the Dextros a bad name. That's right. I remember you chastising me on behalf of my species for losing our homeworld to the Geth. I never said that. Would you like me to send you an audio <laughs> recording? You kept no, that? I hate listening to recordings of myself. My voice never comes out right. Hilarious. Hmm. Listen about what I said. Forget it. No, I was wrong. I was young and I was wrong about your people. I guess losing Palavin put things in perspective. Yeah, you could say that. How about you? You ever mind serving on an all-human ship? Somebody has to stick around to keep you in line. Talk to you later. <laughs> Just nice to hear the... Like, not only do we get little minor conversations like that, where you just walk around this ship and you get to hear the other crew talk to each other. But well, but well. Let's go kick the elusive man's ass. I just played the best DLC. And like, a good chunk of the DLC was just. <laughs> just hanging around, talking to the crew. Having a party, and that's fantastic. But now... Elusive man, you made the worst enemy of your life. The one thing is, I'm never going to be able to play any of these games differently. I'm going to have to make nearly the same exact decisions, because I'm like, I want the best outcome. Chrono Station. This one I will read. Looks very modern artish. The MLA. Red Supergiant and uh, an Anadeus. No, an Anadeus. So yeah, Anadeus. Is a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula. A cold, dying star, about 20 solar masses, and 15,000. 15,000? 1500 times Sol's radius. Note, not listed on any charts. And un, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. ED is advisory. The size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurement would require active scans, which could reveal the Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But we need Once the catalyst. We're committed against Cerberus. Oh. It won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Already, except Ready. for the catalyst. Except for the catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. Oh boy. For all 
intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. So, that's what this is all about. This is the thing that can do. If we don't find the catalyst... What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Well, we die. Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Considering that I've done everything that I can, we go now. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Because I think that's the right one. I think Let's Wait is just the moment of no return. It's going to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. Thank you, Tally. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. Oh great, another nightmare. Someone else might have died. Yes, Morden. Uh, Thane's gonna be in here now. Ashley. Morden. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. Thane. I assume that last one was was Ashley. Thane. Thank God they're the only one. No, and Legion. Why was Legion not there? Technically, he died, giving himself up so that other of the Geth. Oh, ouch. Is that a kick at me, romancing Tally? Would have been creepy if he had the... the elusive man's eyes. Don't know what that would have meant, but it would have been creepy. I think this is the first time I've been naked. By God, I have nipples. Hey. You okay? My system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. Is it enough? We've lost so much already. Sometimes I... You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight? I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. Thank you, Tally. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Because you're the best Why? suited? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Very well. Grab your gear. Yeah, she'll be the mandatory pick. And who do I want to pick? Tally or Garrus? Come along, Tally. I trust in you. Ah, uh, this is going to hurt. It's been a while since we've seen this screen. Been a while. Incapacitate weaker organic enemies. Increased recharge speed. Hmm, that's barely even a second upgraded. 
Increased damage, hit one additional. Increased damage to barriers and shields. Since usually I only use that when diddly D. Wait, no, not that. Defense Matrix is preferable. Increased damage protection or increased shield restoration when purging armor. Shield restoration. Decreased shield recharge delay. Increased tech power damage while defense matrix. Mm, that, I'd say. Reduced power speed penalty. Increased damage protection. Damage. I'd go for the. Get rid of the penalty. Well, let's go. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. Just don't Might die. Be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Because this is our suicide mission, so Shepherd, I feel I, I fear people will Wait, die. What? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or. I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, lady. I'll keep her safe, Jeff. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Head in. Sorry. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. I will. Same to you. Times like this, I miss the makeup. Sea serves. Sea Tim, the elusive man. Hell yeah, run him over. I think we're grounded. Disappointed that I couldn't have bring Garrus along as well for the classic team team up. Everything okay, Cortez? I'm fine. I've got repairs to make here. Give Cerberus hell. Launching fighters. Why do I have that weird uh, deja vu feeling? Like uh, that deja vu feeling of I know I've never played this game before or watched this scenario before, but why can I like near distinctly remember this like exact scenario in visuals? And then it like goes away a moment later. At least a ladder. Hangar 16 secured. Engaging Achilles protocol. Just don't Shepherd, die. We need to find a console and stop servers from venting the hangar. Edie, I've got a console. Go. Hangar vent procedure. Disable. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. So you're going to launch a fighter into the door? Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Get out of my goddamn way. Another Cerberus team is inbound. They figured out our plan! They're not stopping us. I now. don't I we have we have a plan. <laughs> Granted, I don't think they have a plan. Oh 
Overriding safety. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. They should have known better than to piss off Commander Shepard. Why? Because I'm goddamn Commander Shepard. Launching fighter. Kiva! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Huzzah. Noted. Let's move. When's Kai Ling gonna come in? Just an Atlas? Come on. Intruder alert. All personnel prepare for security lockdown. Repeat. Ah. I think I nuked him. All units respond. Research personnel. Lock all terminals and destroy that was the last server's team in this area. I hope so. I could use a moment. Heavy weapons. Come on, I want to go through the door, but I guess I can. They always give me these when I can't use them. I think the icon thingy went up a bit. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. What are they doing now? How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. Glad you're here. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. I feel like that's a death flag. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Wouldn't they know that we're Where avoiding them? The Protean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Yeah, I just feel like uh, they would uh, expect us to go the path of least resistance and therefore would have things to counteract us. Like they'd expect us to go this way. Don't you just love it when you shoot an explosion? I love penetration. No context for that. Gee, it's almost like it's a bad idea to piss off Commander Shepard. Oh, I thought you were just a body freaking out. Just want to triple check. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? I hate that I skip ahead of dialogue. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Oh boy. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. That's Our the whole point of it, though. Disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Kila, are you all right? A little overwhelmed. I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know why. You are real. Real and mine. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far 
as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He was right. You did. I was wrong. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. I was there with you, Shepard. And I'm here now. Shutting Cerberus down. At the cost of what? Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. <laughs> I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He needs to die. Yep. How's that door coming? I love that. We are clear to proceed. Tally just put it so, uh, so simply. Yeah, he just needs to die. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Yeah. That was weird. Don't burn. No, we didn't. I blew it up. Ah, uh, we're talking about that turret. Because it's gone now. Really? I expected, like, Dust Bowl level of turrets. Come on, I played Dust Bowl near exclusively for years. It was my, uh, what is it? Uh, what's the map that everyone plays? Two Fort? It was my Two Fort. There you go. Got up. Won't save you. Got an achievement for that. Lol. Shows you how rare I melee. The lock. If you were interested, the console nearby is still functional. Well, what's this one gonna be about? Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel. I'm still concerned Recovered about that. from the Destroyed Citadel. Wiped out every soldier <laughs> that. Combining it with Reap Attack. So what? Well, they combined the, the quasar stealing for. AI. Well, VI. No AI. With the rogue lunar VI. To with Sovereign to make Edie. You were that rogue VI on Luna. Yes. Didn't, Didn't know. Exactly. Get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. I'm glad that you survived. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up. It is with just a like acronym. Well, he's wrong. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? Ha! <laughs> 
Continue on that running joke. What about the backups? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, ED flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit <laughs> images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Well, it just did. Allocate a team for a new project. Go oh, no. Eva. Oh, that was the robot. You helped us. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under So control. Eva must be the robot. Most of it was Jeff's. <laughs> that was... A joke. I know. <laughs> and thank you. Hilarious, all the same. Well, it looks like we're gonna be fighting... I don't know, adjutants. Oh, there's a data pad and I can't read it. Well, adjutants taking off. over Reaper monsters. Team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium, Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships. Besides, I'm not here to be a hero. I'm here to fucking kill a bastard. Choke on it, you Cerberus bastards! What's this one gonna be about? Eva? Oh, Kai Ling, yay. Renegade Shepard. Shepard. You. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. Bastard. Poor Odina. And the next one will be after Fessia. So he knew about something was on Fessia at least. Proofs of concept that you can hijack the signal controlling Reaper minions. It will be a pleasure, sir. You have no proof of concept of actually controlling Reapers. Not yet. Um, so I guess I went the wrong way. Interesting. That they would have all this down here. So I suppose we are supposed to be following the way. So when are we gonna have our rematch with Kai Leng? Sheila, is that the Proto Reaper from the Collector base? We blew it up. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. No wonder they've been indoctrinated. Families turned into that. Because they took the the fucking human proto reaper larva. With him to save the colonies, but he never really cared, did he? I don't regret standing with you when you were with Cerberus, Shepard. But I'm glad we're shutting this down. So am I. 
Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Then we should destroy it. But we're gonna have to fight Kyling for it, won't we? Understand that all you're doing is pissing me off. Jackasses. So yeah, no wonder R Cerberus got indoctrinated. They took a fucking Reaper piece. They learned nothing from that one pl the first place we ran into Legion. The first place we ran into Legion was Cerberus being indoctrinated. Dang it. So like, dang it. Yeah, no wonder Cerberus got indoctrinated. You know, the elusive man is like, I'm super smart. I'm gonna keep a Reaper right next to me. Look how smart that was, jackass. You can show how dumb he is because he's had all these people just come to him more and more. Like, people have been showing up at his private base. His private base should, like, have nobody know where it is and him alone on it. But Mur- Wait, did Miranda know where it was? Maybe he moved it. But yeah, it just feels like... You should have went dead a long time ago, dude. But you've only gotten dumber. Since Reapers. But then again, I think... He was like, oh, I'm gonna indoctrinate everybody. Why does this room feel familiar? And why does that door seem... ominous? This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. Kylin killing time? Kylin killing time, I hope. No, from the looks of it, we're gonna have a talk out with... Nope, the elusive man must have left. What? Don't have the balls to face me? I wouldn't stand there. That'd be like the perfect place for a trap. <laughs> I'm the elusive man now. The elusive shepherd. We need to locate the Protean VI. Shepherd, you're Bastard. In my chair. <laughs> Lol. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah, we all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. No. The catalyst. You're yes. falling in line. So what is it? What is the catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. Wait you haven't start. helped me. <laughs> you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard. Everything I've done has... You've killed too many humans, humans to be caring about not uplifting humanity. In our galaxy, it's not too late to help me. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. 
and nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. You'll never change. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Unless the Reapers Besides, win. I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie. I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reapers' destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead... Oh no. Chose to control it. It was necessary. My point exactly. Different circumstances. One was a single body. The Reapers are far too dangerous. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yep. Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. You turn the cat the Citadel into so a the gun? The and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. Why all the secrecy? Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am so be more, like, thorough with cra for grabbing it. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why? What do you know? Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel. Why Elusive, dude? Oh, because he wants to take control. Damn it. Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper controlled space. How? Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Oh, boy. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of access... Why can't we go back to Ilos? <laughs> go back to Ilos, take that thing back? No, because it was destroyed. We'll go, we'll beat Don't the odds. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. Get Edie. Kyling. Not so fast. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Kind of cheaty little bands. Why do you get the cheatsy shields? It's literally cheatsy shields.
When you don't have a gunship backing you up, you're done. But I'm the super badass assassin. I should be able to kill you. Atomize him with the holograph thingy, I guess. We can hear you, dumbass. And that's why you don't turn your back on the body. I'm done with you. Take over this uh, station, why don't you? I was expecting it to hit the satellite. Defeat an old adversary. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Yep, it's over Just Earth. now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? It's the catalyst. The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it. Or as use it. As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but it looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scatter it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Priority Earth. Oh, joy. Really wish the Prothean, like, data on Mars could have just said, well, I guess it probably could have, but. Then, like, they missed shit. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Thanks for your service. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Let's go talk to everyone. Because this is where things end. And we're all probably end up dying, because I'm too good to live. There won't be a galaxy left to save. No drinking and driving. You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nihilus, I believe. Nihilus. Yeah. Yeah. I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. And you were right. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. It's been Same an honor. Here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's going to happen. You're going to kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. I just hope I'll have a return trip. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. 
thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, I don't think I'm getting out of this. Shepard is just too big. Too much of a legend. Once you're that size, there's only one way to go. There's only one way to go. Is everything okay, Shepard? Just doing one last run. One last run around the Normandy. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Ling must have felt good. Oh, it, it certainly was. did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. Yep. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. And hope you're okay, good. Dear doggy. And I just hope. But I still, like, seriously, Elusive Man Tim, you think that freaking pointing out the Reapers, hey, to stop the plan, take the thing that we need. In sub Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the Reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Wow, well, nothing to say. Donnelly, why? In your dreams, Kenneth. Uh, if my imagination was that good. Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with it's you. It's been an honor, and I'm the happy to have you back. Give them hell, sir. Happy to have had you on board for the end. Yep, and it's just Javik. I wonder where Tally went, probably to... Crew, maybe? Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. It's crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Yep, something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You yep. can say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Low. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? They matter. Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. The painful memory? What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. <laughs> like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Yes. If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, full, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. The ice canals of Judah IV. The Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. 
It's kind of like Thane's memories. Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been... Harsh, but fair. It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Let us go up one by one. Talk to the people. It's entirely possible Tally is in my room. But I don't want to presume. Presuming is mean. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available. Just make sure. Oh. Available on the information network terminal. From Captain Reynolds. The Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. So the information you've been sending us in Cerberus, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up on our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of no known affiliation. The Alliance cannot officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. Good luck. How are you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go, but glad I'm here, and I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. <laughs> Still wonder what these are for. Shepard, we were just saying goodbye. Goodbye. And making friendly wagers. Ah. Optimistic wagers, in your case. A Turian military operative competing with a Corian mechanic, and I'm the optimistic one. Do you remember Ilos? <laughs> yes. It was filled with geth, which tilted the odds in your favor. Excuses, excuses. I doubt you'll be hacking any synthetics this time. I still have the shotgun. <laughs> I'll be sure to let a few Reaper forces get close enough for you to use it. Thanks. Of course, if they get past me, they'll be right on top of you. That's what the armor's for. You two have been with me longer than most. You believed in me when nobody else did. Thanks. We'll finish this the way we started it. Together. Damn, Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> Kila Salai, Shepard. Kila Salai. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. <laughs> I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wander about. Either way, we're going to give it our all. But I will, once again, I managed to say a words at the same time as a character, and I love it when that happens. Hey, Chakwas. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It's, it's been, been a long been journey. It's been honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. And I'm Thank glad you. to have you. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Try to be like, I don't know. Be the next Javik. Be alive for the next cycle if we fail, Chakwas. Tell them the tales of... 
Everyone here. Messages at your private terminal, Commander. Normal is the best revenge. Diana Allos. Commander, I don't know if you're aware how much you mean to the people, but I am. That the things I see in Battlespace's mailbox could make a geth grow tear ducts. Page after page of people asking you to go save their mother's planet or the home world they outgrew or the mining colony they sink their fortunes into. They don't know that you can't do it all. They just know Commander Shepard beat a Reaper once and he can do it again. I know how they feel. When I heard about Beckenstein, it was all the nerves in my body were cut. But I need to believe that this isn't the end. I need to believe that... Uh, I need to believe that you're going to destroy the Reapers and going to film it as it happens. And when the fight is over and my signal goes out on a tight beam, people are going to come together from all over the galaxy. They're going to watch the, from their couches and they'll celebrate. And one day they'll laugh again. The laughing part is important. I want you to make it all normal again, Shepard, because the day, that's the best revenge I can think of. P.S. If I end up making it out of this, <laughs> this, but you don't, I'll make sure you get a hero's funeral and a Beckenstein wake. That's like an Irish wake, but not as sober and reserved. Thanks, Diana. Now let's go to war. Let's go fuck shit up. My question is, how did the how the hell did the elusive man get out that fast? I mean, I kind of get it. He must have like an escape pod or something, but still, asshole move, dude. And we can only go here. It's Mass Effect One all over again. The Alliance fleet from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. heading on over. Permission granted. I commander. <laughs> you want to be on this ship while we go to war, Hackett? Wouldn't blame me if you do. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. My power is maximum. The might of the galaxy is maximum. We have Solarians, Asari, Turians, so Krogan, Quarians. quarters of the galaxy. Even the previous original but Reapers Leviathan. Faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the Matriarch. face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us Geth. will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Warriors. Stand strong. The Admiralty. Stand board. together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Because Anderson can brief you on that. Hmm. Let me guess, did we did we make Admiral, another Ilos? Are, are we gonna teleport our we way onto the Citadel? Us. But as you can see, the station's closed itself into the pier over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. Another Ilos? The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. Hmm. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. 
Once we see those arms, the shield fleet will escort the crucible to the sea. But timing will be critical. I don't, don't think I hit spacebar. To keep the crucible safe for long. But you just sounded like you did lead to cut off. This is what we train for. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. This is why I got so many allies. Classic team. Let's go. Kick. Ass. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. Think we can do that thing again? You drop us in Mako style on Ilopes? We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Yay, horror music! The galaxy has been brought to bear, you bastards. You want to kill us? Take your best shot. We got Batarians, we got Quarians, we got Turians, Solarians, Asari, Krogan. We even have Geth. We even Alliance have the Destiny reporting. Ascension. Turian fleet reporting. Asari fleet's reporting. And they're still coming in. The Quarian fleet. Quarian fleet's accounted for and ready. Geth fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Fuck them up. Do I get to do a nice little speech? Probably not. Would be nice to kind of uh, call things in. All three games I give a speech. But I think that was uh, Hackett's job this time. But I'm the savior of the universe. And the Normandy leading them all. Hole. Hell yeah. Fear Reapers, you should feel fear. Ah, shit. doing some damage to some reapers and that's all we can ask for right now make the reapers sweat a little bit shepherd
Thank you, Good Joker. Luck. You too, Joker. Don't die on me. Because if I survive, you're probably going to die as a player punch. Like, that's, that's basically it. Either I die, or Joker dies. Advanced teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. Well, technically, I'll I'm going to the that. Citadel. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. It looks like a StarCraft II map. Sorry, Shepard. I know it isn't easy. I barely even recognize it. Hate that you have to visit Earth like this, guys. for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Us. Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. On foot? That'll be a challenge. We've done it before. The down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapon. Perfect. You heard the man. Once but was it carrying a thresher maw? Because well, that there's would help. for heavy weapons. With you, Shepard. Now, go, go. Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. In this kind of war chaos. Probably best if I stick to lots of bullet weapons. Watch it, you got fruits. I have grenades for that. even go. You're crawling out of boxes. I hate that the shaking messes up my air. Shaky Cam is worse than the beginning of Hunger Games. Now. 
would be real nice if Cerberus was working with us instead of against us on this. Weapons, they fucking meant it. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. I was wondering what that was. At first I thought it was a... Any aligned personnel in the vicinity? 50 pop. A, uh... Harvester. Anderson! Anderson! You son of a bitch! I knew you wouldn't. It's good to see you. And you a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take a How'd you hold out for so long, man? brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did nothing. You did more than hold on, man. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah. The Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. Everyone's prepared for this. I have over 8,000 points in the readiness ready meeting. Stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? You don't sound British. The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Probably should save more. Just in case. So even though they lost their Hades cannons, they're still sending rockets up. Pro 
smoking down here. You know, redundant nervous systems. Oh yeah, just sitting casually. Oh, it's a hands of me, go! God, I would love a Mako in war. Well, maybe not an actual war, because lots of damage. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of him or here by now. Cerberus, maybe? It. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you bolster their resolve. You think so? I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Wish I could sleuth them down there. Just crazy. Hey, James. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... We'll rebuild. I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know. I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. Feelings mutual, J James, You're man. A good man, and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. Hey there, Caden. Hey, hey Shepard. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And Biotics Division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. We're the new Anderson. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. Don't think like that. We're gonna win this thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell to see you on the other side. But listen, I... there's things I want to say. I mean, looking back, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Always the grand. The kid that I was never would have dreamed of the life I've had, and I owe a lot of that to you. 
It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? Hell yeah. Damn straight I'm scared. But that fear's gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Yeah. Exactly. So. Take care, Major. You too, Commander. Well. <laughs> I should find the rest of my squad. At least one of us has to live, Caden. Yeah. You know, I've never been to London. Stay alive, my man. Stay alive. At least one human reaper needs to live on. And if it were you, it would be damn great. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Grunt. Let's see. Investigate. Ah, uh, even more. How about Grunt? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob. Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I'm saying goodbye to everyone. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. I'm giving Shepard death out. flags. I'm giving death flags. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I say goodbye to <laughs> basically right, going to these people saying, Certainly. I'm going to live. <laughs> we can do this after we live. I'm sure of it. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Of course not. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You it's have not to goodbye. It's not done yet. Listening we'll to see you, you later. I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes. Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Zaid. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's gut the bastards. Glad to have you, Zed. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Cortez. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. Hell yeah. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... 
It helps to have reason to live again. Oh God, Stay was he? Dead. Could he have potentially yes, died? Sir. That sounds like that kind of dialogue. If I didn't like do those optional conversations, would he? Would he have gone boom? Certainly. Oh no. Know. Hey Shep, you ready down there? As much as I can be. Whether you got the crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Pay for them. Make sure you pay for them. Don't just steal drinks from random people. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Thank you, Samara. Farewell. Sound like I'm gonna die. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? I'm not a clone. Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll Thank you, you kindly. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? No. I'm done. Yes, sir. That was nice. Final goodbyes. No. Final see you later. Because I'm going to see them later. I'm damn well sure of it. I'm not going to die just yet. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. <laughs> Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? <laughs> huh. Huh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Yeah, because we're going to kill the think Reapers. No. I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm <laughs> and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. Hell yeah. We've earned it. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. You know. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but this thing goes sideways and we both end up there. Meet me at the bar. I I'll lie. <laughs> no one's dying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no shepherd without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. <laughs> Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard. Forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Man, you're gonna make me tear up. We needed a super cannon up here. There's a gun? Thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah! Better than pie jack hunting. Well, I wouldn't begrudge having some pie jack hunting rockets right now.
know, just on a stroll. Shot some turret. Hey, Lyra. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. It's mostly because they're all dead. How are holding up, Lyra? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. How about I'll see you later? I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Hmm. What is it? What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchange them sometimes, with their friends, or the people they respect. It can also be a way to say farewell. I'd like that. I'd be honored. Close your eyes. You can't tell, but I am. What? No gaze into the universe? Like you said last time we did this? Man, that was like three years ago. I'm sorry I'm wearing bad shoulder pads for this. Thank you. For everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. Let's be done what should be. What's his condition? Bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off by the knee. Okay. I'm not trying to stay calm. Cauterize. Sammy, where are you? Can't find you. Message me back, please. People go into that place and come out. Not the same. Not the same anymore. Can you can hear voices crawling inside? Oh God, please make it, make it stop, make it stop. Won't listen to the voices, won't go there, can't make it stop, know what to do. Ah, oh, crap, was somebody... Either that was here before... Or... I'll talk you through it. Somebody here got indoctrinated. Hey, Javik. cycle the races never came together there was no rallying cry I envy you really there's not much left out there the future is still out there it is something my people could never say there will be a tomorrow only if we win today no one else has ever made it this far you did you came a long way Javik further than anyone else here and I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle, the exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. I feel honored. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. So I've learned. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard. The faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest. And then, I will join them. 
you mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Protean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. Thank you, Javik. Live well. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. <laughs> oh, and Kara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. Great but lol. she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. But no. I didn't unite the Krogan. Up, you did. <laughs> My great man. Still want to save. What about this, though? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping and it was food. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. Wherever you go, I'm with you. And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? See, nerve like this hurts. You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Do you remember what we said on Rannoch? Just before you took down that Reaper? I remember, and I meant it. You said, I love you. And you said, kill us a lie. I want more time. And we'll have it. By God, I hope we'll have it. I know. Whatever happens. I know. Shepard, I have a question. Ask away. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the conduit at all? They don't. They underestimate us. They don't expect us to the win. Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. But we still I have to afraid. try. Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. That's what I like to hear. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Live well. All right, Anderson. Commander. Admiral. Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Let's start the attack. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. 
We, we head to war. To but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Oh, joy. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push through the beam. Do I get a do I get a tank? I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. I already have the team I'm going with. The one that saw me through the citadel. The one that saw me through the collector base. Comrades. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. Remember what you fight for. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. And every they, them, Geth. They're trusting you. Depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. Be fearless. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together. And together, we will defeat them. We go now. I kind of find it interesting that this is the one game that we go through mostly without Krogan companions. It was Rex, it was Grunt, but not for this one. Hell yeah, nice to see Krogan's, Turian's, Salarian's. Well, one Salarian. I don't think husks would be that dangerous to a foot tank. It's the cannibals. Banshees and whatever they call the Turian monstrosities. Oh, and brutes. The other Turian monstrosity. My Black Widow is so amazing, it can't even go into walls. The penetration is deep. Hopefully the tank doesn't go boom and we have to fight ever harder.
Still don't know what they're called, but keep forgetting to look at their names. They're ugly bastards. That's their new name. Ugly bastards. Um, I, for a moment there, I broke the harvester. Shoot a banshee, and I'm swearing that many of the shots are just like, I'm not gonna go through. We're taking heavy fire from the second story. Request assistance. We'll try to clear the building. I hate when the game says, "Oh, we're going to jiggle your wiggle aim." The real question is how many people were still on the Citadel when it was taken over. I love those jumping this way. Scared of fucking brutes. Commander. I just killed two brutes. Mom, Dad, I can't reach you guys. I try the office and personal comms. No one's answering, and the news is saying the bombings are getting worse and the power went off. Look, I know I'm supposed to stay put, but I can't reach anyone, and I'm going getting really worried about the twins. I'm going to head off to school to pick them up, okay? I'll bring any other of the kids I find, too. You can yell at me when I meet up at the emergency shelters. Well, hopefully you made it to the emergency shelters. Well, somebody didn't. Okay, some looks like this place was commandeered as a medical place. So maybe someone did manage to escape. Alright, people. Eyes peeled. The buildings will give us some cover, but it gives them a place to hide. Yes. That would have hit gas back in the Mass Effect 1. Maybe I don't even need. Boy, that could kill you. This is Delta. We're being overrun. What's your location? Ah! I'm 
gonna have to take down another Reaper single-handedly, won't I? My question is, where the hell do the cannibals come from? They're so bulky. For some reason, this reminds me of uh, that one ship that held the crazy lady who, like, killed everyone off because her bo boyfriend was brain dead and she didn't want to admit it. Oh, well, sure, I can hit cannibals. But I can't hurt Turian ugly bastards. When they're in cover. I mean, if they can shoot Fanix missiles before dying. for you bastards. I like the idea of going down an alleyway. Oh. Well, that's not nice. Taking more Hades cannons. I'm sure going prone will definitely. Well, then again, it is a giant reaper. the eyes. Wonder what it means by secure the missile battery. I shot the thing far away, but not the thing right in front of me. I'll say bloody impressive. But the company's been wiped out. We can use it. Do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? 
suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. But what about this one? Let's see. Oh, what the hell? You heard of people. The upgraded right. monstrosities. Of course they had to upgrade monstrosities. For my pleasure. Ah, they were right. They are coming from behind. Coming up behind us, so. What's one flank, really? I think I missed that second shot. I don't know, the, the Banshees scare me the most. I feel like if I li let one near, things go super bad. Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got it. You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. We'll have to do this a second time, probably. At least, Saren didn't turn into one of these. It was close. In fact, I think he had more health. Alright. Where did you come from?
ship. It kind of makes sense to join forces of all the greatest uh, species of the time, considering that's what the Reapers are doing. The Reapers are literally just taking the best species and turning them into monstrosities to fight for them. Hopefully there isn't some kind of performance review. We need to do good against this enough or else bad things happen. That should have fucking hit. The hitboxes can go funky sometimes. shooting me. You're supposed to be dumb dumb reaper boys. How can you aim properly? How can I aim properly is the real question. Suicide run. Kill. You dare die on me, Garrus. Suck it, Ground Reaper. Shepard, and this is my least favorite battle on the g the ground fights of Earth. It gets worse. Oh boy! Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. So we need to head in now. Harbinger. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. Yep. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Yep. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. You know, I just realized what would have been cool if the fate of Udina was left to your choices in previous games. I just think that would have been cool. But it was prescripted, his fate. Imagine Udina fighting on the ground forces. It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledge. I'll send the word. All ships. This is Admiral Hackett. The Crucible is on the move. I repeat, the Crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this is it.
the best thing is, because everything is based off of Reaper tech, the Crucible is going to be part, like, re based off of the same stuff as anything. Here on in, it's a straight shot with the A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. I'm proud of you all. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. Damn right. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Let me guess. Anderson's gonna have to make a last stand. Shit. Or do we need to fight another one? Harbinger, I presume. need to run. Get the Mako through. There went one Mako. Two Mako. Three Mako. Looks like... Looks like nobody else is allowed to get Mako into the uh, Citadel. Oh, why you get two? Why does it keep defaulting to pistol? No. Don't you dare. Garrison Tally are injured. I can. Go. I don't know what you're shooting at. Surprised they didn't take a pot shot at Normandy. I guess it's more trying to stop people from getting into the diddly dee then fight god they're all gone i can't be dead Shut up, phone. This is dramatics. I'm Commander Shepard.
Come on. Bastard. We don't even know what's on the other goddamn side. God, what I'd give for some meta jail right now. I think the keepers are gonna remake me. Or either the keepers have gone evil. I scanned you all. Make me good again. Shepard. Shepard. I'm Anderson. on Citadel. You up here too? Don't tell me I'm going to be fighting you. keepers. We didn't come out the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Dead bodies. A keeper. Uh. <sighs> you okay? I've been better. I feel like death. But I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Probably where they get husks and cannibals. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Probably. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell. Still can't save. The tubes don't go on forever. But where the hell are we? Yeah. Doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. Just figured I'd try. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting. Yeah, because we're probably in the keeper areas. I'm gonna be guessing the elusive man is gonna either be here or he's gonna talk to me like a bitch. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Need to work together, my dude. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. This reminds me of the Shadow Broker base. Anderson. Don't get indoctrinated. You know, that's a thing. Why didn't they put an indoctrination feature in the Citadel? 
Well, I guess they didn't want them to be indoctrinated from the get-go. I assume, Anderson. Please don't be evil. How'd you get here? Me scared, Anderson. Anderson. Indoctrinated. to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. How'd you even get here? Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so. Have you don't get it. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. No. When humanity discovered the mass relay, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. There were some who thought the relay should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find. Terrified. This is completely different imagine. and you know it. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again. A thousand fold. Except they're not, like... You know, just Mass Effect relays. They're giant monsters out to kill us all. If we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You didn't earn this, man. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... Don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be? Because the Reapers wanted because you to do this, man. We're not ready. No. This is the way humanity. To look like you, you're ugly. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control. No, I won't. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. Bastard. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them. Made it my own. No, you didn't. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than yeah, all. Yeah, like the survival of our species. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? And what if you're wrong? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet... Then why haven't they stopped fighting? Why haven't they stopped I killing? No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Then tell them to Listen stop! To yourself. You're indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... You killed more humans than humanity. probably the Reapers the have. Can control them. I know it can. I just. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> Let us go. We'll do the rest. I. Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you. 
You. You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. But you already have. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! Look at the corpses, man. They have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. Exactly. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. Just like Saren. Literally just like Saren. And now I guess I'm at the ending Tron 9000, huh? God, I have far a far way to go if I want to redo this. Unless this just is the ending, which would be probably preferable in the end, maybe. Anderson's probably dying. The elusive man is dead. And now to Crucible the Reapers. Hell yeah. It looks like a microphone. We're gonna sing the Reapers to death. Now what? How do we fire this thing? <sighs> yeah, you're alive. I don't want to die, man. Commander? I have a girlfriend. A lovely we crew. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. I don't want to die. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. And this war probably has been. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. Hell yeah. I think we're out of it. Did good, son. Can I can I can I get I can I get live? I'm Can you live? You. It's been an Thank honor, you, sir. sir. Anderson? Don't you go out on me either, man. Don't go out on me, me. Stay on, man. Think of the crew. Shepard, Commander. Hey. What do you need me to do? Uh, nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. Here's the ending, Tron. I should have stayed there. Now I have to stand Commander up again. Shepherd. I don't see... I'm not sure how to... Don't die! Commander! What? Am I going to heaven? I don't want to die. Or 
Or did I do a thing? I made a starfish. Oh, fuck you, you little boy bastard. Wake up. Little phantom child. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. The Citadel is a Reaper thing? I am the Catalyst. Literally powered by a Forsaken child? No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Oh, fuck you, kid. Solution? To what? Chaos. But the Leviathan made the... The created will always rebel against their creators. Geth. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations. Leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend so they could make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Can. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. Death. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. Catalyst. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created so the first to bring Reaper? balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal. I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? The Leviathan? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict. So a new solution Geth. is required. Geth. The Reapers? Precisely. Leviathan. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. No. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. Meanwhile, you're the part of the problem of their too. Organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Reapers. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Yep, Leviathan. Yes, they created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. And yet you took to for synthetic life's choice anyway. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their death. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. 
Geth, you stupid Beavers child. Harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. And yet they are lost anyway. How is this not conflict? We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? You're not a force of nature. You were created. Doing what it was created to do. That's still kind of war. We are no different. You're not a force of nature. We you choose to do this. Your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. Not really. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. Crucible. What do you know about the crucible? The device you refer to as the crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? Everyone. You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. So you can be wrong. We're just trying to survive. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Gath! Gath! Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. And I'll destroy the the Geth. Even you are partly synthetic. I want details. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. It will end the war? But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. Death. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to but seize that's control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. I don't understand. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. I think I understand. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Hmm. There is another solution. And what's that? Synthesis. And that is? 
add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework, a new DNA. How? Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. This just seems like a weird third ending. Integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal Guess. solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. That's a big change. I don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The, the cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. I can't even... So destroy, control, you know what? The game made it sound wonky and weird. I'm looking up the endings. <laughs> because it just sounds really wonky and weird the way they put it. Synthesis, in which everything all will come together. Seems wonky and weird. So I don't know. They explained it weird. So destroying the Reapers would uh, lash out and probably have a negative effect, especially against the Geth. Apparently there are five endings. So apparently synthesis is only available if you have enough uh, military power. Apparently you can refuse. Let's see. I wish they would let me save here, because that would take a long time to go through everything, especially conversations.
And apparently, there's something called the perfect ending. But the, it's an offshoot of the destroy ending, but that would destroy all synthetic life. Hmm. I don't think I want to do synthesis. It sounds weird. Because, like, yeah, it just seems strange. Boo. They have to make it weird. They can't just be a good ending. They have to make them weird. It's so weird, I don't know which one to choose, really. Because I kind of want to do the synthesis ending a little bit, but the fact that it's just like, oh, we're going to rewrite everyone's DNA makes it weird. But if I go control, it's both at the same time. I guess I'll go off the control ending, but synthesis. It feels like synthesis was like an added ending, maybe? I don't know. Synthesis sounds weird. That's the thing. Synthesis sounds weird, and it feels like a bit like, oh, invasive. Well, I'm going for the control ending, and then depending on things I might like it depends on where my last save was my last save was probably before the goddamn missile turrets yeah I think my last save was around Anderson in the control room so if I wanted to go through it there's gonna be a lot of walking It'll, it'll depend on how much I can skip. The game doesn't like me skipping things, though, so it'll be a long freaking wait. I just hate that there isn't really an ending there where I can live. Maybe. Sure, this makes me a hypocrite. But this seems like the best ending. Wait, 
Wish they would have let me save. I'm sorry, Tally. The game's fucking mean. Thane. Ashley, Morden, Legion. Take control already. There we go. already. Take over that husk. Or I guess just disengage the husks. There better be an option to go, like, right back to the choice. I frickin' swear. Whoa, did we... Is the Mass Effect Relays destroyed? That doesn't seem good. But it is transferring the shockwaves everywhere. Well, Thessia was still standing. And the one thing is I can't even look up the endings on the internet because all my choices might be relayed. Is this ver- no. Oh, they- they crashed. Oh no. 
Why did you crash? But it didn't seem to do anything to anybody on Earth. And it was right above the damn thing. Why did you crash? I'm a little confused by that. But where are you? God, but I don't know why we're lingering too long. I don't know what planet this is. Is it Earth? No, it's not Earth. Lots of build-up. It's just like, oh yeah, they... they, 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 they. Infant. Immortal. The man I was used these words. But only now do I truly understand them. And only now do I understand the full extent of his sacrifice. Through his death, I was created. Through my birth, his thoughts are freed. They guide me now. Give me reason. I'm rebuilding the mass relays. Direction. Just as he gave direction to the ones who followed him. The ones who helped him achieve his purpose. Now, my purpose. Get to see everybody in these little portraits. Hey, Samara and her daughter. Kasumi. To give the many hope for a Rex future. Rex and Grunt. Coming back. To ensure that all have a voice in their future. Chanka. That's a baby. Baby Krogan. Adorable. The man I was knew that he could only achieve this by becoming something greater. There is power hey, the control. There is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of your enemy. Still feel like a little bit of a hypocrite going the elusive man route. I will rebuild what the many have lost. I will create a future. Do they have to put London in big Hollywood letters down there? I will protect and sustain. I will act as guardian for the many. And throughout it Legion. all, Morden, I will never forget. Neither Ashley or me. We kind of both wore that helmet once. I will remember the ones who sacrificed themselves. Probably Ashley. So that the many can survive. Admiral Anderson. Oh, you're gonna hit me harder, aren't you? Right in the goddamn feels. And I will watch over the ones who live on. Those who carry the memory of the man I once was. The man who gave up his life to become the one. Who could save the many. Oh, 
I knew it. There was no way I could live. One of my main reasons for going that path is because I wanted to kind of spite the child catalyst reaper. You're just like, synthesis is inevitable and the only way is like, fuck you. You'd never need to do any of this again. Geth, the Geth conflict, which I ended peacefully. Stupid child. Oh no, you can't just tell the reapers not to do it. No. I basically have to overturn you. And the thing is, the most annoying thing is, according to what I'm reading, is if you have enough, a high enough, like, uh, readiness value from the thing that we were filling up throughout the entire game, and you pick the destroy ending, apparently there's a little, like, stinger of it potentially Shepard surviving. But then the Geth die, Edie dies, and it's just like, no, that's a suboptimal ending. Because no. Just no. Yeah, apparently there was like some ending additions called the Extended Cut DLC. Destruction path where it implies that I live in any sense because Edie would die. That's just not, there's no way to do it. that there was like I feel that there should have been an ending that like allows Shepard to live if you do like super duper everything It just feels like it's a bit samey to a degree. Like, yeah, sure. Cause like, apparently like if you like keep the collector base or destroy the collector base, will alter the endings, but only if you don't go above the minimum preparedness rating. kind of jerkish that the only one that you can potentially live through is the destroy ending, which destroys all the AI, the Geth, and Edie, which is just like, I can't do that. Wow, apparently some of the ending narrations were added with the extended cut epilogue DLCs. Or DLC. So like, yeah, no wonder people hated the endings to this game. 
when it first came out. But yeah. It's like, in a way, it's an interesting ending in ideas like destroy, synthesis, or control. I still don't really know what the difference really between control and synthesis is. Really. I'm going to read a more in-depth thing about it. Because it just doesn't appeal to me. See, it just seems like the synthesis ending is slightly different control ending, but more invasive. It's just weird. definitely feel why I can definitely see why people were negative about the endings because it does definitely feel like kind of a kick and it doesn't feel like there's enough about you like the way you change things like sure from what I've what I'm reading the little flashes of the characters going about doing things like oh here's Jacob teaching the kids he saved Here's Jack with her team. Here's the Quarians on their planet rebuilt. It's just like... It just feels like there needs to be more. Or should have been more. That is not a child. That is a tiny man. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life... Again, that's just not a child model. That is a tiny man. Own. Why did they just have a tiny Tell man model? It's getting late, but... Okay. One more story. Congratulations on bringing in to the Reaper Threat Commander. Shepard has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at BioWare, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as the vision of a small team, but over the years it has grown. The growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of the player community. Thank you for joining us on the journey, and we look forward to sharing our adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. You know, the one other game they made that was ridiculed to hell and back. Because apparently it's just... I like I know nothing about the Andromeda story. It's I from what I hear, it's kind of a typical Ubisoft esque sandbox open world type affair, which kind of interests me, but it would very much lack the impact. I think. Well, fuck! I'm back here. Commander. Where am I? When am I? Cerberus headquarters. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Well, I guess that I shall save over that. And uh, let's see. Oh, so I can just begin the Citadel return again if I want. Like, it might be interesting to hear the narration on the synthesis ending, but I don't really think that it would change much. Plus, I'd have to go through the rigmarole of talking the elusive man into shooting himself again. But, yeah, I can definitely see why people would find this kind of ending unsatisfactory. Because, first off, Citadel Reaper monster coming out of nowhere, the, well, well Citadel Reaper, yeah, Citadel Reaper AI coming out of nowhere, kind of implied in the Leviathan DLC, but it was DLC, so, mm. The fact that you couldn't talk, because here's the thing. Here's the big thing. Why the hell couldn't we talk the Citadel Reaper AI into becoming an ally, changing its core function by itself by pointing out, hey, the Geth Quarian War. I ended it. It started and ended within this cycle. I ended it, and now they are working together in like peak symbiotic relationship type way. That, like, that should have been a thing. There should have been an ending that isn't the destruction ending. That's also, like, fucking stupid. That apparently, if you have a high enough rating, a high enough readiness preparedness rating, and you, like, and you talk the elusive man down or whatever, there's, like, certain little things. If you do the peak thing, like, you have enough reputation, you have enough preparedness rating... And you just go to the, the destroy ending, which destroys all AI, and apparently does massive damage to the Mass Effect relays. Apparently in that ending, there is, is a slight hint of the Shepard surviving and taking a breath at the end. But meanwhile, the Geth die, Edie dies, all AI die, and it's a very grim but slightly hopeful ending narrated by Admiral Hackett. And it's just like... Things should have changed through your choices. Like, oh, it was like... I get it in a, a little bit. It's hard to just be like, oh, we can't take account of all player choices coming to a head. Uh, but I feel like there should have been, sim like, variations for every single ending, to a degree, depending on how well you did things. Like, in my opinion, if you go destroy ending, and you've done everything, you've had the Geth and the Quarians come to peace, you did all of the best things, you maxed out your preparedness rating, the destroy option should just destroy the Reapers. That is my opinion. Kind of similar to maybe the uh, control ending, where again, if you do everything, go Super Paragon, have ultimate preparedness rating, and you go control ending, like, yeah, sure, a Shepard still goes on and becomes like, a new AI, but then, like, instead he kind of becomes Edie, but has his power, like, becomes something similar to Edie, but with his super powerful Reaper powers, he's able to make his own body, and you can still be there physically for your crew, and it's still Shepard, and you're not really lost. Like, there should be small variations. There should be bare minimum ending, like, oh, you do it, and then the ending happens, like... Control ending, the bare minimum, you become the new Reaper AI god overlord and you help rebuild the galaxy. The bare minimum destroy should be uh, much more catastrophic. You destroy the Reapers, but all the AI and ED and Geth all die. Synthesis is synthesis, so who cares? That is the wiggly wobbly who cares. It's basically control ending, but not. 
I guess basically synthesis is control ending for the people that are like, but I don't want to be a hypocrite and do the elusive man's plan. That is what the synthesis ending is. Well, fine. We heard you bitch and moan about being a hypocrite about controlling the Reapers when you were stopping the elusive man from controlling the Reapers this entire time. So here's an ending that's basically the exact same, but not. It is, the synthesis ending is stupid. I would say cut out the synthesis ending because it makes no sense. Oh yes, it will re-scramble the DNA of everybody and make everyone into weird hybrids of organics and tech, which just like makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. I we're gonna. In, you can't add synthetics to DNA. You just can't. It's like, honey, wh what's the child? A Mac. <laughs> what is the synthesis ending? It just sounds weird. It's narr the Apparently the extended cut ending is narrated by Edie, which is kind of neat of the synthesis ending. But yeah, in my opinion, there should have just been the destroy ending and the control ending. And then, depending on your actions, like, if you do the absolute best, you save Rex, you save, you cure the Genophage, you save the Geth, like, you, you just, basically, it should be the readiness prepared thing, and then this hidden score of best outcomes for all other things, and then if you ratchet up enough points, there should be two different kinds of ending for both endings. So, like, again... The control ending, the lower tier ending is just, yes, yeah, Shepard becomes the massive controller AI monster and rebuilds the universe. Lower tier destroy ending should have just been, yeah, massive damage, ED, the Geth, everybody dies, but they send the organic seed to live on. But then, if you like max things out and you do super good, then in the destroy ending, it should be only the Reapers are destroyed. And it's still like, oh, but without the Reapers to help rebuild things, the Mass Effect relays are kind of screwed up. So things are still kind of wonky and bad. But like, E.D. and the Geth don't die because, ooh, through your sheer power of being Paragon slash Renegade for the universe, you did the thing your willpower, I guess, and you live. And then, like I said, in the perfect control ending, it should have been Shepard kind of retains himself and is able to just go and be like, I did it. It, I'm different now, but I'm still me. It is an unsatisfactory ending, ever so slightly. Again, they had to add extended cut DLC, purely to be like, here are just pictures of the endings, but they're just, they, they don't give much. Like, <laughs> this is why even, like, this is why even, like, Fallout 3's endings, like, ending is better. Like, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and I think even Fallout 4, I haven't beaten Fallout 4. I've played a lot of Fallout 4, but I never actually went on to get an ending in Fallout 4, hilariously enough. But, especially New Vegas. The thing about New Vegas, and it's, like, all, like, even the DLC endings in New Vegas, is it goes through every major thing in the endings of New Vegas. It goes over, like, characters and factions and gives you specific endings about what happened after everything went down. And the fact that this peak of a trilogy... Well, I wasn't say peak of a trilogy, but end of a trilogy fails to do that. Sure, they went out of their way to, like, add narration, but it's kind of flippy-floppy, whimsy-washy, bibbity-bobbity, basic narration. At least in the control ending. You know, I was once Commander Shepard, but now I am not Commander Shepard, but I am Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard is the man I once was, who then created me, Commander Shepard. This AI thing that is controlling the Reapers, Commander Shepard. That is basically what it is. And it's just like, nothing about Garrus, nothing about Tally. It did kind of hit me emotionally in the moment. Like, in the moment, it was a satisfactory ending enough. But it is a very... I think that's the way to say it. The ending is okay. 
but an okay ending isn't okay for a trilogy of games that is telling one story and tagging you along with all of these choices, all of these decisions, all of these things that carry over. An okay ending is like, it'd be like if they somehow condensed the Mass Effect trilogy into one game. Not like this, where it's like, oh, three games in a trench coat, but literally. If the story of Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 of a human being discovering that there's these things called the Reapers, they destroy the Protheans and have been doing this for cycles and cycles and uh, I guess in a way you could kind of cut out Mass Effect 2 because if you think about it, Mass Effect 2 doesn't really do much for the overall story. Sure, they're like, Harbinger, Harbinger, but Harbinger doesn't do anything. He assumed a directed control of uh, collectors, but, like, that's it. Mass Effect 2, when it comes to overall plot plot, doesn't really seem like it's important. It's just like, that's weird to come to think of it like Mass Effect 1 we just we have to stop this guy from destroying the council and letting monsters into the universe and then now we know the reapers are coming and then Mass Effect 2 is just a little bit odd so odd they had to explain everything by killing Commander Shepard and bringing him back in the opening I'll come back to this and kind of ramble, but basically, if you told the story of Commander Shepard and the Reapers in one game, in one game, I think it would be possible. It wouldn't have been as satisfactory, maybe, but you would probably have to make it more linear. If you made it more linear with, like, go downtime, you go talk to characters and some side quests and stuff... I'm sure I'm certain that you could at the very least cut out some of Mass Effect 2, maybe condense Mass Effect 2 somewhere as kind of bleed through with Mass Effect 1 and 3. And uh, if you kind of make it so that they're like smashed together, I'm I you might be able to uh, get away with this kind of ending because it's oh it's just one game. An okay ending for one game, but this is a trilogy. This is a trilogy just like, your choices matter. They carry on through all three games if you import your data. And then they just give you okay endings. Well, at first it's, if I'm correct, if I am correct, at first it was just control and destroy. Then they, well, no, I think synthesis was actually maybe in the base. Maybe without the extended. Which just makes it weird. Why did you make DLC that's just, oh yeah, here's some more monologuing and uh, like here's some monologuing here's some pictures of aftermath but like they don't really tell a story which is why I'd say that New Vegas's kind of ending like I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna say this the contained experience of New Vegas's dead money I think it was the one where you go to a casino and about and the stories about letting go in my opinion that story and those endings like especially that ending like that i would say that overall the mass effect experience 1 2 and 3 is really good but the ending definitely pales in comparison to everything else like again dead money in new vegas that ending is immaculate is utterly immaculate, especially if you get the perfect ending for Dead Money and get everyone out alive. Like, sure, some people are like, her dude, the character saying it's about letting go is cheesy. It's like, I liked it. And that's the one thing. It's like, even though in the moment I was just like, yeah, sure, I'll accept the ending, and the stupid Stargazer thing was just like, here is a man. And then here is a smaller man who we're calling a child and has a high-pitched voice. That was stupid. <laughs> they didn't need that. 
I, I didn't either. I was like, it's to show that your effects worked. And it's just like, I, I don't care. I don't. They are literally like shitty models in silhouette. And literally one model is just the other model shrunken down. You had a child model and you didn't use it <laughs> for the ending. You had a child model that has been taunting us throughout the entire game. And you didn't use it for the Stargazer in segment? You just shrunk down a man. Why? But yeah, overall, the control ending, it's okay. But okay isn't good enough for this. This is an epic trilogy that prided itself on your decisions have consequences that will follow you throughout the games, and they do. You can save Rex on Vermeer, and he'll come through in the second game, and the third game, you can go and do all these things, and they have effects th throughout until the ending. Quite literally, in the base game, without like the extended cut DLC, it's just, and then thing happened. That's the ending. It literally is ending Tron 9000, in which, oh sure, some things minorly apparently matter, according to what I read, depending on your readiness, the shockwave of the crucible activating might destroy and ravage Earth and have negative effects here, there, whither, hither. But if you have enough preparedness, it'll go off relatively nicely. Like it did for me, and people were saved, and Earth's infrastructure wasn't completely totaled. But it's just... Because the game, while yes, the overall story was about we have to stop the Reapers and save the galaxy, the thing that kept people playing was the characters. It's why having Morden die curing the genophage hit, it's hits hard. It's why the story of Thane is emotional and works. It's why being able to save some, uh, Samara from herself matters. It's why being able to talk to characters... It's why the Citadel DLC was so good. <laughs> That's a thing. That is why the Citadel DLC was so good. Because it was about the characters. It was about seeing Grunt fall through the, the panes of glass in the hospital and climb the Krogan Monument. It was about having a gaming match with Jacob. It was about having a memorial for Thane. It was about having a, watching a movie with Tally. It was about having a party with your crew and friends after having an epic journey that had impeccable riding as you take down a clone of yourself. I am going to say it. The Citadel DLC is a better ending than the actual endings. Here's my headcanon. After, like... Whichever ending you want, let's go with the controller synthesis endings. Just basically be like, and then Commander Shepard lived, and then the Citadel DLC happened. Perfect ending. In fact, you know what? The Citadel DLC would have been the perfect ending. Like... Basically, cut out any, like, optional optionality of the endings. Control, synthesis, destroy. Just have it be you go. And, like, again, it should have just been... That's the thing. It shouldn't even been any of the endings. It should have literally been, Hey, yo, stupid child um, monstrosity. I talked the Geth and the Quarians into literal symbiotic relationship preservation of each other. And then it would be like, oh, you, oh, gee, golly, gosh, mister, you're right. <laughs> I am a big, stupid AI, and I need to learn more. So I'm going to use the power of the Crucible 
to communicate with all the Reapers across the galaxy to be, be nice now. And then the Citadel happens, in which you go to the apartment and it hits harder because Anderson died. Anderson died and then you finally come there after all of everything. The pain, the misery, the tiredness, and you're like, thank you, Admiral. You died and you gave me an apartment. And then it's just like, I get to relax. And then your clone comes for you. Your clone comes for you. And it's just like, I feel like I deserve the glory of being Commander Shepard and not just spare parts. And, like, that is it. That is my headcanon. That is, no, not even headcanon. That, I substitute the the reality of the game's ending and substitute it with my own. I am assuming direct control of the goddamn narrative, and I do say now unto forever that after, like, the synthesis or control ending, whichever you want, Shepard survives and is nice and physical and goes on to do the Citadel DLC, and the Citadel ending is the best ending in the game. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. I win. The Citadel ending is best ending. The story doesn't end with control or synthesis. No, you just go and make peace. Make peace with the Reapers or control the Reapers. And then when everything's settling down, you go to live on the Citadel, which might as well be you now if you win the control ending, but not really. Who cares? And then you go do the Citadel DLC. Like, that's it. It should have just been, like, synthesis ending it-ish. Like, no. Like I said, it should have been, hey, stupid AI child. Geth <laughs> The Geth ending. I mean, I talked the Geth and the Quarians into peace, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm a dumb AI. I'm a gonna go tell my AI dumb brothers to be uh, less dumb and uh, be friendly of the universe. Cue the Citadel DLC in which all that happens, much better ending. It is literally the perfect ending. Because you get to walk around and hang out with the characters. You have an action-packed story that's just like, on a smaller scale, but still quite interesting. Again, one last bit of... It, it would definitely work. It would definitely work, the Citadel DLC, as an ending. Like, again, just imagine you go... You've made peace with the Reapers, and the Reapers are like, Oh, gee, golly gosh, mister, we're so sorry. And uh, then you and the Normandy crew are just like, We're we're just gonna relax now, bleg. And, and again, the, it's a bit more emotional punch because Anderson is dead now. So you inheriting his apartment has a bit more, like, punch to it. And then you start getting attacked, and it's just like, what now? Who are, who would be doing this? I saved the universe. And then you slowly unravel who they are. And it's like, once more, a spare bit of Cerberus here to screw with you. I just feel like that would be a better ending. Again, because the ending wouldn't be... Like, it, it even wouldn't be about oh, the, 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 the massive consequences of your actions across the galaxy. It would just be, hey, you saved the universe, now hang out with your crew. Have a party. That would be the better ending. And is now, uh, like I said, I am the harbinger of the story rewrite, and I am assuming direct control. Citadel ending is best ending. Don't talk to me. Now that I have re quite literally, if I replace the canon endings that you can get in Mass Effect 3 with the Citadel DLC in a minor rewrite, it becomes literally one of the greatest trilogies of game. Literally, if I replace the endings with, oh yeah, the the. The, the Reapers are nice now, they're sorry, gee golly gosh, mister, and then the ending is just the Citadel DLC? The events of the Citadel DLC? Quite literally, Mass Effect 
would become one of the best game series ever. One of, well, I guess it is still kind of the, one of the best game series ever. The idea and execution overall is pretty good. It's just the ending is just like, eh. Once again, okay endings, but okay isn't good enough for this level of thing and expectation. But quite literally, if you replace the canon endings with my idea, small rewrite, and then Citadel DLC as the true ending, it becomes one of the best endings to a game ever, especially like an ongoing game story ever. Because again, the Citadel DLC feels like it matters. Rex is there if you save him. Depending on your choices on Vermeer, either Ashley or Caden would be there. Depending on your actions, Kolyat is there with a memorial to his father. Samara might be there if you saved her. Like Rex, Grunt, like all these things that you've done coming back to be like, you helped these people, you bettered these people. Because, like, the first... Like, that should that should have been it. The Grand Galaxy ending of dealing with the Reapers, th not through an ending Tron 9000, but the decisions that you made, again. It should have been something about, like, oh, curing the Genophase should have affected the ending. The Geth-Quarian conflict should have... Of affected the ending where you can basically say hey I am one guy and through my actions I ended the animosity of a thousand years and reversed a horrible decision with the genophage I went and ended a century centuries long like well not really war because there was like the the morning war and then the quarian war against the geth against like two wars but the ongoing conflict of the Quarians and the Geth, and I brought them together with symbiotic peace. And it's just like, it should have been something like that, where if you get the best outcome for the majority of these big, big things, you're able to convince the AI that it's wrong. That for, like, potentially millions of years, it has been in the wrong. And instead of nurturing organics to better handle synthetics and attain peace and symbiosis it has been slaughtering innocents wholesale and as one person you're able to go and change that and that's the galaxy ending and then you get the more personal endings with the crew of the normandy and your friends with the citadel dlc acting as the true end of the game that's what it should have been. In fact, that would have been freaking perfect. It would have been freaking perfect. Like, you would go through the Citadel DLC, you'd hang out with the characters after the story part, you'd do the party, and then, literally, what would happen is you would take the group pip picture, say Normandy, credits roll, and then post-credits would be the post-party aftermath rock around. Bioware should have hired me and like during this game's development sure I probably would have been like 12 but I would have had this same idea I assure you I would just be like that's a dumb narrative choice do this instead then again the, the, the one thing is the Citadel DLC is that just that DLC they made it afterwards they could have probably still changed things around. Then no, no, that would have done that would have had that would have taken a ton of work. It is one thing to be like, okay, after each of these decision thingamajigs, your decisions show up as flashes alongside this monologue that's generic and doesn't go into specifics all that much. Heebie jeebie. It's one thing to have a DLC that does that. It is a complete nother complete another to go, oh yeah, and then we're gonna go do this in which, uh, Bibbidi Bob, after what was once this, like, it would be one thing if the game released, the, you release the game and it's those set endings, and then you go back and you change it so that after those endings happen, the Citadel DLC runs. Well, actually, mm, 
would it have been? Because all you would then have to do is instead of reloading the last save, but because no, the technology is here. Because if we go into here, well, not even there. If we go into here, it it launched us. It has restart the Citadel mission, Citadel of the Return, and then flung us onto the Normandy. So technically, technically, it would have been possible for them to potentially shove the Citadel DLC in and have it auto-run with Commander Shepard stepping into Anderson's apartment. Granted, again, that would require severe reworking of the endings, but then if they went into doing the endings with the knowledge that the Citadel DLC would be coming to kind of go along with it, they probably could have done it better. Mm. So yeah, once again, quite literally, my rewrite idea, if we go with the Neon ending, which is your preferred ending, but it's just the Reapers are either gone or are allies now and everybody else is alive, huzzah, and immediately smash cut to Citadel DLC, that is the best ending of Mass Effect 3. And if that was the actual ending of Mass Effect 3, this trilogy is one of the best things ever. Would have been one of the best gaming experiences of all time. Would have probably been one of the best, like, gaming trilogies of all time. And, uh, while, yes, it, like, that's the one thing. I can't say this is, this is one of the best gaming trilogies of all time. Granted, I don't know how many gaming trilogies there are. Metroid Prime, but it's getting a fourth game, so it won't be a trilogy anymore. Hmm. And plus it, uh, man, man. But, it's like, mm -mm -mm. what is it with, like, trilogy games having wonky endings at, when it came to games being released of, like, late 2000s, early 2010s, and, like, within the within the time frame of 2007 to 2014, games, tr like, game trilogies being made through there have, like, oh, yes, these are, like, the best trilogy ever, and then it has a stupid-ass ending. Mass Effect 3, where it's super wonky, and they had to release DLC... To fix things up, even though, all the, even though all they had to do was, oh yes, and Commander Shepard lived, and uh, the Citadel DLC takes place right after the, the the main ending. That's all you had to do, and you would have made the perfect game. <laughs> but then, like, the Ezio trilogy has a funky ending, from what I remember. Granted, they do really weird fucking things with the Assassin's Creed series eventually, and... Don't they just, like, give up on the future plot in Assassin's Creed eventually, which is stupid, because I actually like the future plot. It's like, it's the, fr it's the framing device. But then they have to go, and now you are fighting uh, Atlantis, and it's just like... I'm sure Odyssey is fun. I'm going to play Odyssey, like, Assassin's Creed Odyssey sometime. Not Valhalla, though. I just, I... Valhalla just seems like a... A, t a, 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 a game too far for me. But back to a point the endings to this from what i've seen the one i experienced the control ending was okay but that's all it was and when it comes to this a game series like a trilogy of games that was like your choices matter your choices paragon renegade your choices and then was, was hammered that home, doubled down by literally importing your data from previous games so that you can literally continue with your choices except for Conrad because they fucked that up <laughs> in the end it's okay the ending is okay, but the fact that it is the ending to a trilogy and it's only okay definitely brings it down. And definitely leaves me wanting for more. 
until you subscribe to the Neon Ending Pack, in which all you do is you take your preferred ending, most likely synthesis and uh, control, and then just go, ah, but actually, uh, that was just the Reapers being nice now, and Commander Shepard actually lived, and immediately afterwards is the Citadel DLC, yes. Uh, basically that. Basically that. If precisely after the ending, and Shepard lives, and it's just the Reapers back down on our friends now, and you immediately go into the Citadel DLC, it magically becomes literally one of the best games ever. But the ending just definitely... Because, again, the Citadel DLC feels like it's the real ending to me. It is one final linear romp with all of your characters, all of your companions, telling this final story, and it ends with a party... And frickin' crew photo. Once again. Once again. You'd go through the party. You'd get the, the group photo. Say Normandy. Smash cut to credits over the crew photo. post credit stinger is the walk-around party aftermath. A million times better. A million freaking times better. Because it doesn't really matter all that much when it comes to like, oh, what makes sense? Oh, this or that logistics. You, after three games with the same protagonist, the same companions, recurring game after game, telling the same ongoing story it needed a better ending and the Citadel DLC is basically that ending but only if you rewrite time a little bit <laughs> but yes overall I did enjoy my time with Mass Effect if I had to rank them a bit hard because they were really long and especially Mass Effect 2 and 3 bleed together a little bit I would say mm, I hmm overall I think I preferred the world traversal of Mass Effect 1 a little bit more than the others because it felt more unique even if I did come to loathe the Mako's driving controls by the end. It was more interesting than the just scanning and uh, but well the just scanning of Mass Effect 2 but as a compromise, I would definitely say Mass Effect 2's was the best implemented. I personally do not like the feet, the scanning feature stuff of Mass Effect 3. Especially because you don't really get to scan for anomalies all that much. Because most of them are just war assets or credits. None of them are... And then here's a sudden mission! Like, that's the thing about Mass Effect 2. You go, you scan a planet just for resources, but gasp! There is actually a th mission here. The blood pack is doing a thing. It's like, that's interesting. That's interesting to me. Like, imagine if there was less war asset pickups, and instead there were these mini missions like, you're scanning about, then you find an anomaly on a planet, and it's this, like, big fleet of Turians who are being locked down and they can't get off the planet, and you go in and you save them as a mission. That would have been interesting, but I also get logistically why they didn't, because they already have quite a few missions in this game, and, quite a f and all of them are unique. But I just think it would be a bit more interesting if, like, you could actually go to more planets and actually have a hand in doing something with the war assets as opposed to just... And then you found them. 
well, what were they doing there? <laughs> Why didn't they call for help? And plus, scanning around only to be invaded by Reapers, especially in the annoying case of, Oh, I scanned once, but this is only 50%, and then I scan twice and find the other thing, but then the Reapers come because I scan twice, is annoying. And if I ever replay Mass Effect 3, it will definitely be with the mod that gets rid of <laughs> the Reaper encounters, because they don't do anything. There isn't a mini-game of you having to fly away from the Reapers, it's just leave the solar system and complete a mission, and then the Reapers will go away. Or you do what I did, and I, you just save scum until you find where everything is, and then you plot it correctly, so even if you scan about and the Reapers come, you can get out of there and head off to the next place. It's just, eh. So yeah, honestly, I would say Mass Effect 3 has the worst mechanically when it comes to, like, moving around the galaxy and scanning planets. Mass Effect 2 has the best overall because while, yes, you don't have to worry about resources in Mass Effect 3, it's just more interesting to, like, go planet to planet. You scan the planet and you're, like, looking for resources and you go, like, oh, that's a big spike. And then you're, like, oh, my God, there's an anomaly on this planet. Mass Effect 2 had a more interesting loop when it comes to scanning planets and going, like, solar system to solar system. And plus you could actually upgrade the goddamn fuel reserves. Cough, cough. Granted, you get the fuel reserves and the probe upgrade, like... 66% through the game, so you've already scanned most of the things you wanted to do, so you don't really need that many probes to end with, which is annoying. Might also do that mod that allows you to recruit Samara, Tally, and Legion early, because there is actually not really cut content, but more like rearranged content. Because apparently Mass Effect 2 was so big it had to be played on two discs when it came to like the Xbox 360. So, they decided to split the some content between the discs and decided that Samara, Tally, and Legion would be on disc 2, uh, as opposed to being available to do from the start, which is, well, kind of the start, you know, once you start recruiting people and stuff. I, I might do that mod on my own time sometime, if I ever play through the game again. Well, games... Very fun trilogy. I would say that overall, the massive reveal of the Reapers becomes very bland at the end. Especially because, why were they trying to make a human Reaper that literally looked like a human when none of the other Reapers have unique designs? All of the Reapers are based off of the Leviathan. Until... Frickin... The Human Reaper Larva thing. Which is... A Reaper, but humanoid. For no reason, because no other Reaper takes the physical appearance of its progenitors. And like... I feel like the Reapers were being... Like, hyped up in Mass Effect 2 to a degree. Especially with Harbinger. And it's just like, feels kind of meh, now that the reveal is just, oh yeah, the original super creators of the galaxy created an AI after witnessing, like, primitive organics create AI that then rebelled and killed the organics. So the Leviathans went and made an AI that then rebelled and killed the organics. Wow, who could have saw that happen and that led to this internal cycle? They're like, oh, it's because it's chaos and we're trying to implement order once again. So stupid that you can't talk the monster to death. Oh, sure, you can talk freaking Elusive Man into being Saren 2.0. But not the big Reaper monster, which is just annoying and sad. So yeah. I would definitely say Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 are amazing games. The Mass Effect Legendary Trilogy thing is really cool. They re-overhauled things because apparently your prepared readiness thing 
was determined by mobile apps or like some kind of app, maybe computer app or mobile app or something. Like you would do the things in game, the fetch quests in game, then some kind of outside of the game app experience. And then the multiplayer had an effect on the on the preparedness which affects the endings. Yeah, that is dumb. And I am kind of glad that I played the Legendary Edition as opposed to the normal one. At first I was like, I'm kind of annoyed that I can't buy the original version. Well, let me qualify that statement. I was going to say, annoyed that I can't buy the original versions of Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. You can. You can still buy them on Steam. But they never go on sale anymore. That's what I was getting at, because I don't like to buy games if they're not on sale, unless it's something like Elden Ring that really, really grabs my testicles. Hmm. But, yeah, at first it was just like, oh, I'm sad, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, non-legendary edition or whatever, uh, don't go on sale anymore. Where? And then uh, I just like, well, fine, I'll grab the legendary collection because I want to play them and it's cheaper overall. And uh, it's apparently the, b the better way to do it. Apparently they fixed some things, rebalanced some things, and especially the preparedness meter in the third game. But yeah, I really need to wrap this up because this is one of the longer streams. Here I was just like, oh yeah, we'll just finish off the latter half of the Citadel DLC hangabouts and then do the ending, and then the ending took forever, and now I'm, ra I'm waffling. But yeah, overall... Mass Effect 1 and 2 are a um, great journey. The majority of Mass Effect 3 is freaking phenomenal, but the ending is only okay. But okay is not good enough when it comes to an ongoing story trilogy of this caliber. It's just, you can't. The overall journey is still good, and like I said, with my new headcanon rewrite timeline thingy, where your favorite ending happens, except for destroy because eating the Geth must live. If your favorite synthesis or control ending, but in actuality it's just the Reapers going, Golly gee, mister, we're sorry, we've learned our lesson, and become your friends. And then the Citadel DLC happens immediately after. You do the party, say Normandy group picture, credits roll over the group picture, and then Stinger end party aftermath walkabout that is the perfect mass effect 3 and that mass effect 3 to cap off this trilogy would have been quite literally easily top 10 best gaming experiences if not like top 5 but as the as what it was that actually canonically capped off the trilogy with the endings are only okay and it's an insult that the only one in which Shepard lives is the destroy ending. I get it, because that's the only one that he doesn't get disintegrated to either become the new AI overlord, or... I still don't get the synthesis ending idea. You're so special that if you jump into the, the, the beam, your, your specialness will combine synthetics and organics into a new DNA, which that's not how fucking DNA works. Once again, the joke. What? What's the kid, honey? A Mac. <laughs> but again, my headcanon timeline rewrite ending a billion times better and makes this one of the best gaming experiences ever. But because, like, again, if it just ended on the Citadel DLC, that would have been the best because the Citadel DLC is literally the best thing out of the entire Mass Effect trilogy. And if it ended on that, with, like, literally, if it was just galaxy ending, Reapers are good or no longer a problem, head into Citadel DLC, all your characters, all your friends, this wobbly wobbly happy time. Amazing. But it didn't end like that. It ended with monologues and slideshows that literally pale in comparison to New Vegas. But yeah. The endings are kind of meh, because they're only okay if that, which is not suitable for this. 
just it isn't. The overall experience is still good. The characters are still amazing. The writing for the characters is still great. And th again, that's why the endings fail. Because they're dealing with the, oh, the galaxy, the galaxy. All you have to do is say, Reaper's good now. Here's what happened to the characters. Because in a way, we don't care about the universe. We care about the universe because we cared about the characters that again inhabit that universe. When you just go, and this is the overarching greater picture, nobody cares about the greater picture. People care about the little picture. The little details. And that is why the Citadel DLC is the best ending of Mass Effect 3. Not destroy. Not synthesis. Not control. Citadel ending. Citadel ending for life. Or should I just call it apartment ending? <laughs> Anyways, yes. Mass Effect. Wonderful trilogy. Mass Effect 1 was kind of interesting. The differences between it and Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 3 was just kind of a re... like, was more based off of Mass Effect 2 than Mass Effect 1. I do kind of like that they gave back the, like, weapon options and finding of Mass Effect 1 without the inventory nightmare. The modification system was cool. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, Mass Effect 1 is okay, but it has a lot of flaws and wonkiness. Mass Effect 2 is where it really started to hit its stride. And Mass Effect 3, I think, nearly perfected the formula, but flopped the ending. But still, I would definitely recommend Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Endings, meh, but again. <laughs> Go through the ending, save the Citadel DLC before you... Basically, don't do the Citadel DLC. Go through the game, have it reload you, then do the D Citadel DLC while imagining that what the ending actually was, and it's the best ending ever. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Mass Effect has been a fun, 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 fun ride. The ending wasn't rage-inducing, but it wasn't, like, it, it, it got me emotional, but only because, again, the only part that really got me emotional was the parts that focused on the characters. <laughs> And it was only visual. <laughs> but yes. They should have just focused on the characters! <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching. Not sure what I'll do next. I'll probably take a bit of a break and do stuff else. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Just short outro. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>